All right, hello guys, Woohoo here. We are doing an ex everything explained video. So this is might be a very, very long video. Uh, it's actually five, probably gonna be five hours long. Uh, hopefully there is sound. Yes, I wanted to make sure I had sound. Well, there were some people in chat that responded. This is from my live stream. I live streamed this for five hours and then I just uploaded the raw footage. Uh, I am gonna do in the future, I'm working right now on like an, uh, everything explained kind of tutorial where uh, it's everything is going to be divided into bits and pieces and stuff like that this is just uh me showing like how the early game is going to be uh i made a new a brand new account and i did do a thing two thing a few things that i'll explain also when we get into it and i'll be for the most of the part of the time uh well all the time probably i'll be on like with no web, web camera and like nothing below here and stuff like that because so you can see everything that's going on and this is meant for people that are just starting out on the game and just kind of want to follow along and you can also call it like kind of a play with me kind of deal uh so you can watch this and you can see oh he did this okay i should do this and and that that's why i made a completely new account so uh i can follow along and you know also so I wouldn't i won't be doing anything i'm not using mods for example either because i want to mimic like a person that is just starting out that doesn't know anybody or know anything at all so i want to mimic that as good as possible of course with mine the knowledge that i have so yes that is going to be that <laughs> you're going to level up to diamond in one day uh, oh i'm not sure uh trove still fun trove is 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 um Trove is as good as ever been. And that's also why I'm making this uh, video or video. I'm making this play with me tutorial, everything explained, early game edition, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, I'm doing this now because I don't think Trove is going to change in the way that it works now. Like we're going to have additional, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, additional uh, content added, but we won't be getting changes to the writ what is now like major ones at least maybe some a uh, couple of reworks and stuff like that but we won't get like some in insane uh, changes because we got delve right we got delve and delve is basically the best possible in game you can have you know because it's always not always changing but it's all it's never ending so this problem with shadow towers that was before was that we had <laughs> unfortunately you know there was a when you hit like uh, let's say 30,000 power rank, you know, Shadow Towers wasn't a challenge anymore, but it is now. Delve is, you know, it's a challenge because you can keep going further and further and further. Further and further. Uh, there's no limit to how you can challenge yourself how much you want to do so. Or you don't, you don't have to. And also, it's Delve is really good for uh, starting players because uh, we can actually, I can actually go and Delve right now uh, and, you know, I will get the reward for that. But, um, Yes, so the very first thing is that I did a tutorial and I added a few things to uh, this character. I, I, uh, I added myself, referenced myself as a friend. It doesn't give you anything in-game, but if you want to help you out your friends, you can do so. Uh, or you can reference me. Uh, it's linked in the description as well. But uh, in the old, old, old times, <laughs> it gave you a class key, but the, it just gives you a class key. Class not a class key, sorry, a class coin to one of the starting co uh, classes. You can also get one from the store. Also, you get a, a mount. You can just add these two here. This one, you can also, it says free dragon, but it's locked because you have to buy a pack. And I really suggest you buy this pack. If you are going to spend money, you don't have to spend money on Trove. There's no f uh, pay to win or anything like that. Um, there's pay to faster, which is this is basically. Um, so you can buy some of this stuff and you just get a head start and this is the best value you can actually get for money This is really really and you get this dragon with it as well So you get actually a dragon just by buying this So even though it doesn't say it here you get this dragon with it And this is the refer friend dragon you can get this for free as well But you just got to get enough people to refer you and then you get this dragon, but when you buy a pack um, You if you play this game for more like 100 hours or something like that this this is like nothing uh, as of five euros or five dollars, I think it is in there. But you get a lot of stuff in this one, and it, especially uh, the inventory expanders. As you can see, I have only these. Uh, this is my inventory, basically. So uh, you have to buy real money to get more of these. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. And yes, there's a ton of stuff. Of course, you can buy go faster and stuff like. Also, this 
Uh, oh yeah, so also, yes, you can also get another class, a free class, and this is not a story class, so you can use right over here, let me get to the Chaos Crafter. So this is the Chaos Crafter, uh, you don't have to know much about it yet, but uh, as you can see, this is a story classes, and then you got the basic classes, and then you got the more advanced classes. Uh, doesn't really mean much, but these are just more expensive than the other ones. So you can craft all the classes in the game, you don't have to spend any money if you want to do that on, to unlock classes. Uh, and these are, these are, of course, all the classes. And the way you do it to start out with is that you can trial all classes to level 4, which we are going to do today. Uh, I have to... Oh, it, did it already reset? I'm not sure if it reset. It is set now that it's XP day. So this is done on a Saturday. And uh, though you get a more experience. Also, Patron, uh, which is a, is a thing where you can basically uh, get all these things here. Uh, maybe I should just move to the full game now. Let me do that. Um, so this is basically all the stuff that are, um, you know, added in the patron. Uh, it does give you some benefits, like more experience and stuff like that. But when you get to the end game, you don't really use this much. Uh, it there is something uh, for end game players. For example, with the uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, experience, uh, uh, magic find, magic find. Where is it? Magic find. I can't see the magic find anywhere, but I can't see the magic find. Okay, there is a magic find boost where you actually get double the magic find. Uh, so, which is, is nice for in-game players, but um, I never use it personally, uh, really, anymore, because it is not super necessary. It's not super necessary, uh, but it does help you a lot in the beginning. That's the saying there. So, yeah. Delve better drops. Look at it. <laughs> uh uh yeah okay um so yes that's just what i wanted to say about the uh, shop and there's of course a lot of stuff that you can also buy with your uh with the currency you get every day let me see yeah see like dragon coins you can see up here i have a star bar which give me some in-game currency you can see right now that i have this and this is the of course the uh the pay the the pay real money uh currency but you can buy uh for this if you want to and right now there's also go on an, an event going on i won't be doing the event or anything like that again i want to try to mimic the um what's it called the experience as much as i can so also by the days you saw here uh on saturdays we got experience extra experience the patron is you get even more loot day it's called it's just extra magic find and stuff like that more uh, flux artifacts are basically just uh like it's basically a, just a container that has extra flux in it and also extra of your chaos chest so it's a good day to, to farm on you got your dragon day you got your adventurine day that's something to do with clubs uh, i might not end up doing something to do with that today of course, gems. We're going to go into gems and talk about gems later. Uh, gathering day is, of course, for all the ores and gardening and stuff like that. And delve day is basically the delve that I was talking about earlier. And we're also going to jump into some delves later on. Third row. Sorry. Uh, what did you say? Oh, there. Ah, better drops. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm, of course, live streaming, so I have chat to help me out if I miss anything. But yes, the better drops, that's where it is. Thank you. It doubles the magic find that you have. And and in here, you can see all your stats. If you open up your character, this is all your stuff that are in here. Uh, here in your stats, uh, these are my stats right now. I do have the extra experience because I have also set this because I'm part of a club. Uh, I've set this to me uh, to, to primary. So I do have these extra benefits uh, that, for example, the 100% extra experience from this one and also all of these other uh, fixtures and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure uh, I should be benefit all of these things here. I should be uh, just, I'm just, oh, okay. I know what's going on. It's because I haven't updated uh, the day has changed, uh, but I have, it changes every day at, if you're playing in the EU it, around mid uh, midday and then like 6 a.m. in, in uh, what's it called, uh, America and stuff like that. So uh, you've done the tutorial uh, and you've added a few things. Uh, like I have added a few things to my account, like this list, this here amount, and this was in the, in the shop and this was also a promotion. So uh, I will link in the description, I will link a list to everything that I'm explaining here. So there's like, I've done videos of all these things, all these things that I've done is of course linked in the description. Like these are uh, just a longer tutorial of the same thing that I've done like 
specific videos for. So there's also a video that kind of explains about, you know, the, uh, of course, the mastery system, but also about, you know, uh, things like uh, these, right? Like uh, mounts and stuff like that. And also there's some free mounts and there's some free allies and stuff like that you can add to your account. So I am already mastering rank level seven. Because when our next goal is going to be mastery rank 10, that's the one we're going to try for mastery. But we want to try to get as much power rank as we can get. And we open up here, we're level two right now. And I chose, because we did the tutorial, you choose, I chose the candy barbarian. That's a really good starting class. But we can unlock two more classes if we do want to do so. So yeah, uh, the tutorial is probably going to tell you like much of the uh, starting things. So I don't want to go too much into that uh, at this point. Unfortunately, King, you cannot add me because I there is uh, something here. I can also show you that now. Uh, if you press Y, you get into your collections, and there's something called called badges. There is something with some old the old dragon system that they have. They're still around, um, of course. Uh, then there's some social badges, and there's actually adding a friend. And uh, if I start adding a bunch of friends, it's not going to mimic. If you do, well, you can just add other people. You do, you just like go to the hub and you can just like add people, see their name, add them to your friends list, and see if they say yes. And then you need, of course, twenty five friends to get those uh, mastery points. So that's gonna give you twenty, twenty, and twenty. So I'm gonna try to not do that if somebody doesn't know, like doesn't have to force people to add them as a friend. So uh, unfortunately, there's not like adding. Uh, you can add for who. Uh, this is this of course is my alt. So. Uh, my who would be like with the W instead of just a v, uh, the single V. That's what I mean. You can add that person. That's what I'm playing. I'm not going to play on this character uh, or this account. This is just a, for the everything explained uh, tutorial or whatever it can. This is the refer a friend thing. So when a person, if you refer a friend and that person gets to 20 mastery, you get like uh, the referral. And then of course you get the dragon for free if you get all the way to, was it 35? 30 referrals. But again, it's much easier just to buy the pack and then you get this dragon and also you get this uh, free class with it as well. Oh, you already added the who one. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome, man. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Uh, and also in here, you have something called game plan, gameplay badges. And these are also uh, quite important. These are, for example, uh, doing dungeons. If you do 100 dungeons, you get 20 mastery for that. Also some cubits you get out of it and a badge that it just tells you that if you completed it and all the way down to 25,000 dungeons, for example. There's also something with how many blocks you have destroyed and how many boxes you've opened and also how many days you've locked in. So right now I have two days uh, current locked in because I made this before the day reset, uh, reset and then also total days. Uh, it doesn't gonna do very much, uh, you know, but it uh, does say like, hey, I have to, be two days that I've current streak. So I have to re, re uh, do my game. So I'll just close it down real quick and open it up again. New account. Yes, pen. I am doing and hi, how you doing? <laughs> I am doing a, a tutorial on everything. Basically that has to do with Trove. Uh, I should have this. Yes. This is a thing that every new player gets by the way. So I'm gonna, gonna take those inventory expanders and I'm gonna use them to get another row and another row. A really good idea if your things are not working in Trove uh, or like um, like if there's something you can't claim or it's not showing up, a good day, idea is just to close down the game, open up again. It kind of has to reset, but you can also do it by when changing worlds, but if you're just standing here. So uh, first of all, we got the loot collector. You know that's one from the tutorial. I'm gonna loot collect all of this and you get some mastery points out of that. Uh, we do have some uh, class coins that we're gonna use in a little bit, but we're also gonna do, uh, you know, some more farming. So, like I said before, we are trying to aim for uh, mastery uh, 10, and we're gonna try to get as much power rank as we can get. We have a 99 right now, so what we wanna do is we wanna open up our atlas, uh, and of course, I got I'm actually gonna like my world here, here. <laughs> and did it do it? Oh, I have to be level 10 or greater. I actually didn't know that. Okay. Well, okay. So that that's not why we're doing it, but let's unlock actually these classes. We can't unlock the candy bar, but we can unlock some of these other. I will unlock the knight because I like that guy a lot and he's a good uh, user. Uh, the Tomb Raider and the Gunslinger are great classes. Gunslinger is actually an in-game uh, character actually, which is kind of weird when it is a starting one, but 
uh, that's just how the game uh, basically works. So you can see I'm actually on a very different mount because I did not uh, change it into this. So you have basically like a loadout thing where it, it just do that. And, and in here, you can now see that it's active uh, and uh, I can, okay, should, are you, should you buy, are you buying in them uh, still? No, you shouldn't be buying them, right? This should be just be unlocked, right? Anyways, we are going to switch up this guy, guy here, right here, and we're gonna use the, uh, this is the river demonstrations, you know all that. But uh, in here, if you press I, you get your, your adventures up. And uh, first is to reach uh, level 10 mastery to unlock this event, uh, uh, event feature thing, uh, because there is an event going on right now, so you need to level 10 to that, but expertise, is basically your uh, further tutorial style uh, thing. Is the Dreadnought mount any rare? Uh, yeah, quite, uh, but many people have it because it was in a, uh, uh, what's it called? It was in Luxian's uh, inventory at some point. Uh, we'll get to him as, as well, but like you said, level 10 to do so. So we just want to follow um, the the expertise one uh, we don't want to use not this one yet this is for geode but we're going to do this uh, right here also we're going to open up and as you can see it kind of grays out the most of the stuff so but we want to go to medieval highlands how the way you are going to um you know level up is that you're going to look at the suggested levels so this is four to five i do have enough power rank to go here uh, I don't have enough here. You see, I need a hundred, but I'm looking at the level. Look at the levels. Don't look at the power rank. So I am level two. So of course I'm going to go to medieval Highlands until I am level four. So look at the levels. Don't look at the power rank because many people, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, kind of miss out on, on, or do that. So right here, you got the rallying blade and rallying blade is just going to put you to the nearest person. Oh, so it sent me all the way over here. Because uh, there's some people running around over here. Uh, so it's just going to send you to some random people that are in here. So if you want to go back, you can do a slash respawn. It is going to cost you some magic find and stuff like that. But uh, that doesn't really matter for you in the beginning. So this is the basically the hub or the starting place. There's two rattling place. And we're going to claim a cornerstone because that is what it wants us to do. Um, and also we want to work... Uh, towards, uh, you know, getting uh, some other allies and stuff like that. So we have to complete a dungeon, which we are going to try to do. Uh, we got a, a recipe, glowing recipe. So we're going to use that for an orange block. It's going to give us, again, mastery for, for doing so. So we want to get out and we want to get to level four. Uh, it says to open the map, so you can see here. This is, um, I can just show you right here. So this uh, this area here with the with the flower, you can see it also over here. The dark green uh, patches are, you know, that is the peaceful areas. The in the dungeons here, but out here these are dungeons. These looks like dungeons. This one is where your cornerstone is, with this exclamation mark is. I can actually let me move it over here, claim it right over here, and you can see it moved the exclamation mark. But we're going for this dungeon over here, and let's do it. Let's complete a dungeon. Dungeon Delve actually says, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you, you got enemies. Uh, and these are just big mushrooms. Sometimes you want to run over those. That gives you some materials. Where's this dungeon at? Oh, we are right on it. <laughs> oh, it's right down here. It's, it's hiding. So in the beginning, you only have two jumps. And jumps kind of is quite uh, amazing in the beginning because there's jumping around in lots of places and stuff like that. So let's just uh, do this dungeon. What's it called? Purple portals means, of course, that we are doing. Uh, that means uh, going down and up and down. So I can just inside the, you know, inside. I'm just gonna defeat these guys. Uh, inside the uh, dungeon, I've, I came down this way, and I could use it right over here. Maybe you should not go the way, because I know that you can uh, jump over here. Oh, uh, let me see here. You can jump in water as many times as you want. By the way, uh, I just jumped down because I know this dungeon, and I just easier to jump down this. And this, of course, the dungeon exit to go out of the dungeon. So we're almost level four. We're gonna find another dungeon. We want The action wants us to do another dungeon, but uh, again, this one has, uh, this has more power rank. 
so in the, in the start you, here is the best way to do so. So I'm going to take the blue is a higher tier. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is this? Is this a hat? Oh, this is a hat. Seven. Seven. Okay, so just want to get use the one that has the most uh, power rank because our goal is to get to 5000 power rank, uh, which is going to take a while, but uh, it's going to it's going to happen over time. So I'm uh, going to complete the uh, second dungeon here, as it also says in this expertise here. But we also, of course, like I said, we wanted to get. Oh, <laughs> let me do this the right way then. Go this way. Let me. Uh, we can just kill these guys. These, of course, also going to give us experience, and we're actually all level four right now. So if you want to pick up items, you can hold in the E button that loots everything. That's what I do. Uh, I don't know what the uh, is on on consoles, but uh, yeah. So this basically is just sucks up all the items. So we're level four and it wants us to mine some of that sh uh, shape stone, but we are going to move on to the next because we are now level four to five. So we're going to be in here and we're going to, you know, try to uh, do, do some more dungeons. But here you see some of the shape stone. You saw this in the tutorial as well. So we're going to do that, of course. i just do it with our laser in our build mode. I don't know. We need to, uh, um, we need 20. I don't know if we're gonna get 20 here. No, we didn't. Uh, oh, we did. Okay, let me get up here. Um, on uh, on Tuesdays, that's the that's you can get extra ores. You can get uh, like 20, 50 percent extra, but 100 percent if you have Patreon. So <laughs> into the permafrost world, we have so so maybe it's a little bit bugged. So maybe if we go, let's go. Can we go like this? Uh, I, I guess I was a little bit faster than I should have been. <laughs> I didn't know I could hold in the until I was like Master 300. Oh, uh, Penn is uh, a, a long time viewer and long time. There we go. That works. Um, and he says that um, that he didn't know you could hold in the E button or like the loot all button. Yeah, you can see what the I don't know what if there's any settings should be settings menu on the consoles as well. Uh, v, you can get off this whole menu thing. It's also on there. Uh, there's just a lot more shortcuts on the uh, on the PC. But in the settings, you can go into the hotkeys, and it should be uh, yeah. See loot there. That's what you use. Oh, this is use button, loot button. But yeah, it doesn't really explain you that you can actually hold in the E button to do so. Oh, so we got a super stash for doing so, which is going to. Uh, give us a random style. Uh, when you loot like things, you also loot their style. So I can change my loot style if I want to do so. But we we got that one, and they also gave us one mastery point, as you can see. Uh, for mining these, we actually also got a trove of uh, the miners' trove, which is going to give you ore, all random, like all sorts of random ores. So, okay, this actually is power rank eight, so we want to use that. So here we go. Now we want uh, more dungeons, more loot. Beat dungeons, gain loot. Yes, that's that's what we're gonna try. So uh, on the map here, uh, let me zoom in again. On these here, these big ones, these are the three star dungeons. These are bigger dungeons. It's one right over here. Uh, it has two smaller dungeons inside it, and then a big dungeon always, like a, a harder boss. Uh, not always too hard, but it is harder. So we're gonna just gonna. Uh, do some smaller ones that are fine. Hey, Ollie, what's up? Uh, I have two layers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And doing a new account, I'm doing explain uh, as much as I can. I hope I don't miss out on a bunch of stuff, but it's more like um, I'm going to upload all of this footage. That's why also there's no, um, I have no web camera on and stuff like that. I had it in the beginning. Uh, Oh, just do six dungeons. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the loot. You can also, uh, I can show you guys that a little bit. Let's see if I can't find an enemy there that drops loot. Um, but I'm doing explain everything the uh, early edition. So let me see if I can't defeat this guy here. Uh, okay, drop <laughs> he didn't drop anything at all. Also, also is why I'm like rocking no mods and I'm just playing by myself. Okay, so we got another item. So you don't have to hold in the E button. You can also like individually just press the E button once and it's going to just take that item that you're looking at. So we got a few things here. This is 14, so we're going to do that. And this is better as well. Uh, you can see this is 14, 14. So we, if we can get a thing there, that would be 
great. But uh, we got to do six more dungeons, so we're going to do that. Also, the next level, you can see I can actually go there already, but I want to be level six to, before I go here. So we got a couple levels to do that. You also get more experience for completing the big dungeon. I guess we can do that one. Um, some dungeons, or most dungeons, you can bomb with your bombs. Let me use well, just one of them. I usually don't use that, but uh, I'm just going to do it here because people love to bomb things and see so you can bomb your way into the dungeon. And in the beginning, you only have two jumps. So there's an ally uh, in the hub. I'm going to show you in a little bit when we are uh, done with the permafrost here. I'll show you the allies that are really super OP in the beginning. Uh, and that's the jump. Uh, that's a jump uh, allies that are pretty simple to actually to make. Are you ever going to use this account again? I might, I might do so, but I, I'm pretty sure I won't. Uh, I do have an alt account uh, that I'd never play on anymore. I, when I played a trove a lot, I, I got this, uh, you know, uh, I had this alt account. I still have it, but I just, yeah. A lot of things that I wanted to do with it is just like, nah. <laughs> so I just use only my main account. So it's not like, uh, and I'm not adding any people to friends list on this one because uh, this is only for, like I said, a new new person. But like I said, if you are a new person, uh, you should definitely add some people to your friends list. Uh, you know, it does give you mastery up to 25. <laughs> so uh, you should be able to get 25 friends uh, just by adding people. Again, don't spam people, but you know, uh, you can ask people friendly, say, hey, do you want to be my friend? Especially if they're in like these new worlds. Uh, there is a thing, let me feed all these that are trying to murder me as well. Uh, come on. <laughs> he is tough. Come on, get him. All right. Um, there is a, a command you can use slash who, like that. Not who, <laughs> slash who. And you can basically see all the people that are in here. You can see there's... Like this guy, crazy geeks or whatever. I can see your, myself right here, and you can also see the codes. Uh, the the numbers behind them just means that that's the coordinates that they're at. So, yeah, just uh, wanted to to say that. Okay, so now we are moving up towards the uh, big guy, the uh, the uh, the big boss guy up here. This is the big. <laughs> I know it doesn't really really look like a big uh, boss, but uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I get you get a more experience for completing uh, this and not better loot actually. You would you would think you would get better loot, but you don't. Uh, did I get any weapons that were 14? No, they're all 13. So don't worry about the stat. Just look at the power rank in the beginning. Uh, we're gonna go into uh, there's another big dungeon over there. Um, we are gonna get into uh, much more about like uh, you know crafting our gear uh, in in the beginning here. So, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I had no more jumps. So that's why jumps is really important because sometimes the dungeons are not really always accessible. Uh, so you might have to jump and stuff like that. And this is annoying if you have to skip some because you can't access them. So jumps is really important uh, in the beginning at least. Um, and you get some from dragons and stuff later on and stuff like that. But we're not going to worry about that at the moment. But you can get around, you know, you can see I'm getting around with two jumps. So, oh, that's dungeon is done. Let me see, can we, um, see if we can't get over here. Uh, so there was also wings and stuff like that you can buy. You can see we have already have some wings here and you can also craft uh, some and there's, a, there's plenty of ways to achieve it. But uh, when you start out, you only have the slow Sebastian mount, which is, really uh really not uh, uh really nice so th that's why you want to add the free stuff that uh, you know i have a tutorial on or i have a video about talking so you get all these uh amazing things all right uh <laughs> so now i actually have to do the jump puzzle instead of uh you know i have so many jumps normally so i just you know most people you know do they, they just jump and they uh never do these also, this is on ice, so it's a little bit harder to get stuff. Okay, here we go. Jump pants to get up. So some of the, uh, you can also skip these. You don't have to do these. You don't, you don't have to do these. Like, it's the way I do it. All right, so we hit level six. Uh, I think we're going to do one more dungeon here. Because last time it wanted us to do so. So we will just buy 
uh 14 i think 14 is like the whatever is the max there's another big dungeon there uh are we going oh we're going out oh maybe i can go all this way these wings descend really fast uh so you can fly but you or i guess you can do it like uh toy story style where you you don't fly but you just fall with style i guess this guy Show them promotion, the promotion codes. Oh yeah, I could, I could, uh, I could uh, show you guys the promotion codes uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, there is the entrance, but it's all linked. It should all be linked in the description. Should I just post them here? Uh, okay. There we go. Six out of six. There we go. And I would want to enter the next world. So let's see if I can't uh, show you guys in a way where I can show you guys the... Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> I went to Nightbot that I've already had Nightbot up. So let me get the free stuff. Okay, let me... I, I guess I'm going to copy this whole thing. I don't think I need to... Uh, let me add text. Like so. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of, oh, yikes. Okay, I don't know why it made it like so huge. Okay. Uh, okay. No, doesn't it normally like make it smaller automatically? No? Okay, what if I... Uh, so like this. Um, how do I change the, it usually, doesn't it, if I add a text, doesn't it normally just like, uh, oh, Okay. Oh, but I'm pretty sure that when I change it like this, oh yeah, see now it does. Why didn't it do, oh, because it has to be so small or what? Oh yeah, it has to be so small. Ah, I see, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna change that then. Okay, so that's one of the codes. You can see it right there. That's one of the allies. So let me just copy paste. Uh, somebody is here. I don't want to do in the edit. I just, cause it's going to take a while for it to do so. So let's just do like that. All right, here we go. Make it a lot smaller. There we go. That's that code. And this one, I have it all in a, like a thingy on my, uh... there we go. Yeah. There we go. Oop. It's gonna be down there. You can just pause the video, you know, uh, if you want to write them down. Like uh, I said, they also I do have a um, them on a on a video that's in the a description. Well, the, it's a playlist in the description. That's what I mean. There's that. <laughs> They're all just random, all the way. And then the last one is this one here. Little ghetto, I know, little, little ghetto, but it, it's working, it's working. Hey, thank you for the host. I didn't, I didn't catch the person. There you go, that's, that's the last one. Kumam, thank you so much for the, um, for the host, I appreciate it. We're doing a explain everything early game. So we're level six and you guys get the, you can't see them now because it's all pretty white. <laughs> but we want to enter the cursed valley here. Uh, so yeah, still very white overall. overall. Hey, bear dude, what's up? How you doing? So yeah, you you uh, you see them. Let me. I can actually go over here. You can better see them here. Oh, now the uh, thing is there in the way. Move them here. So now you got them. If you want to write them down, you can pause and you can write them down. So yeah. Bad wolf, what's up? How you doing? 
uh, how dare you make us watch an ad and in, 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 get an intro to your stream? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you don't have to watch, dude. It's really, I'm going to remove these right here. Puma, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. What the? All right. So we are, uh, we <laughs> just got a few more dungeons. Well, that's was also our plan. So a few people are already here. So we got to go the other way here. Uh, just to show you that it's a little bit more. Yeah. Explanatory. Hungry just activated my double experience. Oh, double experience potion. Yes, you can get double experience potions. Okay, that is something really wrong right now. All right, anyways, go. Yeah, I got the raid. Yeah, I, I said thank you for, for, for the raid host. Uh, whatever you, <laughs> you can call it, but thank you. Yeah. How was your stream? Arrows. Is that how you say it? Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. So we're also almost done with our first uh, star bar uh, thing here. Uh, so that's gonna give us uh, 500 more of the uh, of the in-game currencies, which is you just save up and you use it on uh, different things. I also have a video that kind of explains all that. But yep, see now we got our first star bar and we got some new uh, purple loot. We also got a chaos chest. Chaos chest can, can contain all sorts of stuff. So let's just open it. Oh, we got some meteor fragments, which is a crafting material. So this has more power ranks, so we're just gonna use that. We even got a melee weapon, and we also got a face. So we actually got fully upgraded, which is nice. So that's cool. Bad Wolf, thank you for the follow up. Appreciate it, welcome. All right, so let's see, we got to do six dungeons. And uh, also we need to be level eight to nine to go to the next place. Uh, oh, probably one of your best streams, dude. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, that's awesome, man. That's great. Um, soon, uh, we are going to go and try uh, to get all our classes to level four. And it's a lot easier to do so on um, uh, when it's Saturday, when it's 6P day. Uh, you can do it whatever day you want to, just a little bit easier. This guy is not responding. There we go. All right, here you go. <laughs> I have no energy. Okay. I think some people are uh, using it as well very much. Yes, I'm starting and uh, I'm doing an everything explained uh, video. Uh, so basically, uh, what it means that uh, everything explained. Oh, this actually has jumps. Oh, I have jumps. Yeah, gear can give you jumps. <laughs> well, I should have probably said that. So there you go. Um, so, like I said, soon we are going to try to uh, uh, get all our classes to level four. Because you can get them all to level four, but they give you mastery points every time you level them up. So, yes, they can work. Stream like nine hours, damn, awesome, man. Was it all throw for all those hours? It's another down here. And you don't really wanna, like, it's all it's okay to get, uh, you know, uh, you know, jumps on your gear. It isn't, uh, it's not a bad thing or anything like that, but you kind of want it to get it somewhere other places than, than that, but uh, it's fine, you know, jumps is jumps, right? Uh, what's my highest power rank on my main class? It's uh, 30, 35,900 and something. I'm missing one piece uh, to get uh, kind of as much as I can. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Let me see if I can't get out of here uh, somewhere around here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, we're doing everything explained. I'm basically gonna stream for five hours and I'm gonna upload it all to YouTube and then people can kind of follow along and play. And I might have uh, put myself in a, <laughs> a bad position here, but we should have no jump to get out. Yes, finally. All right, let's go over here. Oh, you're trying to get the affiliate. Oh, two, two, two point nine five, dude. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. If you have to average three, well, it'll, be, it'll, it'll come, it'll come, but uh, yeah. 
You spend another million on your Draco? Damn. Wow. What did you spend it on? Uh, so these are Sumber Souls, by the way. These uh, here. They only spawn in the... Uh, in... Um, in the Cursed Valley uh, biome. Yo Q, what's up man? How you doing? Yeah, I hope you get it soon, man. But the uh, 2.95 is a really like silly. Even you need three, uh, you know, 0 0.05 uh, away from, from that. Right, so we're gonna get this cursed skulls dungeon finished as well. There we go, and we also hit level seven. See, I got mastery points. See, there's 15 mastery points right here for gaining a new level. And like I said, we want to try to get a Mastery 10. And we might have actually gotten Mastery 10. Oh, not yet. But we want to get to Mastery 20 after that, of course. Makes a lot of sense. Right? <laughs> wow. Whole nine hours streaming trove. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Crystal 3 gear. Oh, okay. So you haven't seen any Crystal 4 gear yet, uh, Sam? So I might reference uh, some, some in-game stuff with some of the people that, you know, are going to be in chat. So don't worry about <laughs> speaking, you know, saying something about that. Uh, but we got full... Oh, we got a... Oh, this, this has a lot of stars on it. Oh, we're going to use that instead. So it can spawn with stars, but we are going to talk about stars and upgrading gear uh, when we get uh, later on. Uh, so... I just want to, I just need to do one more dungeon and I don't want to do a big one because yeah, that is not the plan. <laughs> That's not. And of course these yellow things are all also a different ore. I can use my laser to get that as well. And some more Samba souls if I want to do that. And there's also a blue version of this. So they have the yellow one and the blue one. And then there's also, uh, sorry, the, the purple one and the yellow one. And there's a blue one as well. That's what I want to say. Three different colors, ores. And there's also something called Nitro and Iridium. There is plenty of crafting materials that I probably won't cover in all these, but, uh, you know, I have covered everything in the uh, all the chores that I've made over the years. And they're all up to date, by the way, if you're wondering. I just decided to do this one now because I don't think Trove is going to be much more. See, now I need to farm the Yellow War. <laughs> so that's how it is. Um, I have, but I don't. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, you have a hat. You don't lose magic find. You lose magic find now. You lose if you use a flash respawn. You lose magic find. Uh, yes. Yeah, see, now I have the hundred and fifty percent experience. So yeah, it's gonna go a little bit faster. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go back to the club, and we're gonna loot collect, and we're gonna change uh, class. Um, I also talked about um, that I needed to show you guys something in the hub, which we're also going to do after this. So I'm going to look like all this and we're going to get a bunch of mastery, which also means that we now are ranked 10 mastery. So we got a few uh, things for that. Also, now we got some, um, we get access to the event. So we have to do all these here and also to complete a dungeon, which is going to give you a double XP potion. Usually every time there's an event going on uh, on Saturdays, you can get the double XP potion, which stacks with everything. I'm not going to use this. I'm pro I, I can't co not complete this one because it completing a dungeon and we're going to do dungeons, but we're not going to do the, uh, you know, the uh, change look, whatever. So I'm going to move, remove this right now. Uh, you can also actually, I could actually uh, click it away if I wanted to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get this, but uh, yeah, not that I'm going to use it, but I have it. <laughs> So expertise is keep going and we got to uh, do some more with that. Uh, but we loot collected and we can throw a confetti ball because we got level 10. Uh, next thing we want to do is was in the in the hub. I'll show you guys um, Luxion and do that. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's it's on in the new it's in uh, in the new um, What's it called in, in the Delve update? A PS4 and console has not gotten that yet. So I'm also going to show you guys Luxion, and I want to show you guys the 
the jump guy. Uh, so in Luxian here uh, for dragon coins that you're gonna get uh, start collecting when you get to level 20 mastery by doing some challenges and stuff like that. You can buy this guy and he's every, here every 14 days and he has a bunch of awesome stuff. And I usually um, post this picture of what is in on the Discord so you can check out it. I check it out every time even though because I can't remember what I have and don't have. Over here, that's the Delve House, by the way, uh, but we'll show you guys that later. But over here, we got Saltwater, Saltwater Sam. He's right here. Hello. And here, you can uh, buy some stuff from him. Uh, some boats, actually, and some sails. And all these things give you mastery. This is for fishing down here. So right now, we got Glim. And Glim is just something you get from uh, destroying grass and defeating enemies in the, uh, the dungeon boxes themselves and stuff like that. But right over here, he has a crafting table. Also, you can craft some boats that cost you different materials and stuff like that. There's some sails to them and stuff like that. And same thing with the fishing. All these things also give you mastery. But down here is where we are going to look at it. And these are the boots. Uh, we need an old boot and we need some golden soles and we need some glim uh, to make this one. And I can show you guys it uh, right in here on this. Let me see. Combat. There you go. Uh, it's under crafted. Oh, that's gardening crafted. See, these are the boots that we were just talking about. And this one gives you eight jumps. So this is the one I want to craft really quickly because it's going to give you eight jumps and you don't have to worry about having any on here. Right now, I'm just using uh, this ally here because it was in one of these promotion codes. So uh, we need to uh, uh, acquire an old boot and some golden souls and uh, some fade dust. And we don't have any of that here right now. Uh, so I need to be able to, need to go to the player marketplace. So... We're going to wait until that. Oh, we got an error. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hello. Uh, just going to send him an error because uh, apparently that. That may take it. This may take. Oh, this is taking longer than it expected. OK, <laughs> usually it doesn't take that long. Uh, I'm not offline, by the way. <laughs> this, this game is just like... Oh, I can't. Okay, send it later. Okay. Okay, didn't work. All right, anyways. <laughs> All right, cool. We are back. Anyways, uh, I said what I needed to say about that anyway. So uh, we can't access the, the marketplace yet. So we got, it's going to be a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, so they, it wants me to still be in the cursed valley biome. So we're going to find the blue ore. We have to find that. And I have to take a sip of water because I've been speaking for a while. And kind of crazy. There we go. Okay. So we got to find the blue ore. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Found it. <coughs> defeat this guy so it's not being annoying while we are collecting this so yeah this is just a blue war kind of looks very much like the the other ones <laughs> funny enough right we need to get 20 of that because uh that's what the tutorial says to do what the expertise thing does and we are not going to end up having enough oh we are we grim doubled thank you so much for the follow up appreciate it welcome uh, we're gonna be two off no really oh man oh there's some blue warrior yeah. you leave me alone dude and we also quite have to be uh, higher level as well so there we go let's see what the next step is uh, craft a ring box so we'll get into oh we get one day patron pass for that interesting well I'm not gonna use that patron pass but that's pretty nice to have them because we are only level seven and to go here or we can go here now but I want to be level eight before we hit that so yeah all right so let's see if we can't find some dungeons there should be one right here shouldn't take us very very long to do so uh, so I want to hit level uh, level eight uh, or actually you want to hit level 10 so we're gonna hit level 10 before we go into the other classes but uh, living classes tux uh, is a much more fun to do uh, when you have uh, you know it's when it's XP day uh, Oh, it's fucked out. Come on. Come down here, dude. So I can finish you. There you go. All right. Cool. And uh, because I've completed a dungeon, uh, I now have the double XP potion uh, thing that, of course, going to 
So if I actually use this one, oh, there's a mini boss. Let me get him. Come on, hit him. There we go. Very awesome. Um, I can use this to get the double experience. So I would actually have 300% experience. So I have the 50% because of uh, the experience gained, whatever it is, uh, because of uh, having Saturday and done 100% from uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, the fixture, the, uh, the one we have in here gives you 100% extra all the time, not only on Saturday, but all the time. So it's really nice to have two level. That's actually, actually the tower that people need for whatever. All right, uh, we are not level eight yet. We want to get all the way to 10. Uh, so I'm going to have to complete some more, uh, you know, dungeons. Here we go. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I, I don't have any jumps. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> yep. Have you played this game before? I, I think so. And of course, I know the way around the dungeon. So, of course, you... Uh, but again, a lot of people just bomb their way through them. I only have eight bombs at the moment, but uh, yeah, you can do so if you want to. All right, and we actually got a, a cash chest, so we're gonna use that one as well. Uh, so this karma bar down here just means that when you get all the way filled up, it just means that you get the 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 most rarest loot there is in the in the thing there. Uh, you're only getting. Uh, stars but we'll talk about that in a little when we get to level 10 i think we can talk about forging our gear up i think now it's just the best to to level up you get so much out of leveling uh in the game as compared to many other things like we're talking about mastery you get a lot of stuff out of uh ah come on i can make it there we go no okay he came down here okay <laughs> and then i jumped up can you there you go. All right, cool. Let me uh, see if I can't. I want to get the chest. Got him. There we go. Awesome. Okay. There's another one over here. <laughs> And this only gave us the uh, legendary ones. These are the epic ones. And you get uh, better uh, gear when we get into to this one here. But it should be enough. Uh, it should be enough with the uh, with this dungeon here. It should be enough to hit level. Uh, if you would just like stop jumping on the jump pads, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. Level eight, awesome. And let me hit. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, level eight. So uh, we're gonna continue, and I'm gonna talk about the ring stuff and like that when we are going to be done with that. So uh, rejuvenation station, and here we are in the new. So I don't, I can't even jump up there. So. Got to do the, uh, the the wrap around here uh, to go all the way around here. Is that the boss? Sometimes there's mini bosses uh, around that also drops loot and also can drop uh, yeah uh, gym boxes when we get later on. I'll show you the little gym boxes. Okay, so we got uh, these more. Oh, these are actually more than I'm using. Oh, rip. Okay, so this is 25 and this is 28. So take that. Now I have some prayer hat on. <laughs> There's the boss. I thought actually uh, the legendary was worse than epic. There we go. I just want to see these are 26. This is actually better for damage. <laughs> Even though I'm this missing out on the jumps, I'll be fine, I think. He said, and uh, then <laughs> really missed the uh, the jumps. Okay, uh, want to find another dungeon. Oh, there's some about below me. Oh. 
See, now we did the second part, and we actually get some pinatas that actually has some, some cool stuff in them. And I'll throw them uh, in a little bit. You get these every day, and you get... Do you get do you get Dragonite from... Oh, you do? That is crazy. You get Dragonite. That's something uh, fairly mid to, mid, mid to late game, I would say. Uh, but it's a good way to collect it already. And you might also be wondering where all... Okay, this guy was just dancing. Uh, you also might be wondering where all your, um, what's it called, your like loot, go, uh, like uh, flux and stuff goes. So there's different tabs. This is the building tab. That's the one you access by just hitting tab. But there's also the loot table thing where you all can see all your stuff. And this is where it all goes in to uh, be. And this is some of the geode, uh, you know, geode. And this, ha this is just a geode. Um, tab as well for, for those crafting materials so let's do another ring uh, ring another dungeon over here trying to get to level 9 and 10 I think uh, yeah we need to level get to level 10 so we'll be here till level 10 um, if you play on different days of, of course uh, I could go do the ring thing right now if I wanted to which is going to give me the patron pass, which is going to give me extra experience even. And with the double XP potion, uh, would also double all that. So uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of experience can be had on. Uh, and also um, right now it's faster invasion. You can't see it because of the uh, event being you know, here, here, but uh, some weeks it's also XP week. So that's 100% extra, extra on that. So it's just like very insane amount of experience you can get i don't know, even know what the maximum experience is at the moment uh but i would i would i would really think it would be uh like 500 percent wouldn't even like surprise me if it was that i don't really you don't need that much money all my characters are maxed so there's not really any point for me to oh 28 uh 25 nine sick okay cool oh uh this one uh, 33 okay we got a even better one so again i just want to get as much power rank as i can and uh that's what we're doing right now probably leveling right now <laughs> but you're not always guaranteed to get the egg a double xp potion but it is uh, there every event so uh, you can see right there. This is the flux capacitors or flux crystals and stuff like that. You get, uh, like I was talking about earlier, this has this flux in it. So when you do click that, you get uh, some, uh, well, some loot out of it, but also some flux out of it. And of course, all of these things give you flux as well. Uh, 30, yes, this is better. So kind of look for the ones with the stars underneath it. And we're going to do all the forging with gear because that's very... Gear is the most uh, it's the most power rank or best way to gain power rank in the beginning of uh, the game. There's also something called gems and stuff. That's why you want to level up um, because it unlocks uh, that. But oh, here you see we got the collection challenge, so we're gonna do that as well. My, that's actually a pretty good idea. Dude, we can just come back here, but uh, we'll show you guys that. And that shows up when you are, uh, you know. Level 10 actually mastery. Oh, I thought it started at level 20. So these collection challenges actually start at 10. Okay, interesting. I thought it was 20. I've always said it was 20, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to do that by going to the hub and just doing it right now. So we can get it. At... Yes, collection challenge. Yes, it was very nice. I love collection challenges. Because there is something called... Uh, well, we have 20 minutes to do it. Uh, there's different challenges. That's not only coin collection, but that's just the most fun I feel. Under, if you press K, you get onto the leaderboards and here you can see all sorts of things, but you have something called contest and this resets every week. And this week it's a gunslinger, it is a Neo Ninja and it's the Ben Guardian. So it's unfortunately not in any that we're, well, uh, we can get the gunslinger, but these are the classes that you have to do something on. And the, when I mean do something on, it means effort and effort points you get for doing dungeons, challenges, uh, base destroying blocks even and stuff like that and if you get at least 125 score you are guaranteed to get uh, some empowered gem boxes which is really important because uh, that's the big dungeon uh, those the big gem boxes or gem 
big gyms. Um, and of course, you got to only get it once a week. But if you get at least 75, you're guaranteed to get this one and 100, you're guaranteed to get this one. If it says rank right here, it means that you have to be at least 100 plus 125 uh rank to get these uh, class key fragments and stuff like that if you are above 25 you get these dark vault and also you get some shadow pinata so these 10 people right here if they are the 10 people at the end of the week and you can see two days until the contest ends it resets on monday every week then they are going to get like all these rewards here so i usually try to get at least a score of 125 uh if i if you can't if you haven't unlocked your class yet uh you, you can't really do much uh you trial classes the one like a dino tamer for example cannot get, gain effort even though you can play it to level four and you can just keep doing dungeons even though you don't level up it won't add to this so you have to have unlock the class to do so so it's a really good idea to unlock all the classes with time there's also something with some club experience and stuff like that there's some bomber out that's the pvp that's actually right over there that's the pvp part of the uh of the of the game we can we can do a game of that if you want to see that and then of course there's experience gained this week so right now i've only gained there i am I'm 5000 experience right now and if you want all these boxes see it says score with all these so it's not any to do with the rank you are gonna so if you do two two and a half million experience this week uh, i won't reach that of course uh but uh, i will get all these leaderboard reward chests which is uh has some random loot in it uh and can have some really good rewards but it's super rare to get so and then there's some mastery and some other competition that reset every week yeah <laughs> you up for pvp pen all right we can you want to do a, a game after the well, okay we can do a game after this one we can do a game of bomber Real. So this is the challenge. As you can see, there's the scoreboard. I need to get a score of 100 before I can do so. And it's just collecting uh, coins. Uh, you are against other people, if you can say it like that. Uh, but uh, it's it's just collecting coins. <laughs> and you only have two jumps here. So it doesn't matter how many jumps you have normally, but you only have two jumps. There was a time where uh, one of the PvP dragons was actually bugged and you could get two extra jumps because it gave two extra jumps as a as a bonus and those two jumps were uh, uh were uh, kind of affecting the coin collection even though it's not uh you know something to do that but this is actually also considered a pvp map even though you can't do damage to people and I, of course i've done this a million times so i know like the route that i'm taking is the one i always use and i'm always get a score of 100 doesn't matter if you get uh you know more than that you can see people are scoring up there uh but you uh you know you don't <laughs> what's it called uh, get you don't gain any more out of um uh being number one or anything like that i wish they did but uh i think it's fine that it doesn't uh makes it the, the playing field uh just more you know fun so i have 115 now i'm gonna keep going though but uh yeah the, co the the big coins, uh, the, the yellow or the gold coins gives you five points. The, the silver one gives you one. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter if you're ranked one or whatever you are. You just need to get, again, a score, says score, uh, of 100. And then you're going to get all the rewards, which also is going to give you all the effort points. So it's going to give me tw uh, 32 effort points uh, for uh, completing. And I actually got ranked one, so. Um, but... It's going to, what's called, uh, give you 32 points every step you are going to do of these challenges uh, towards the effort if it was actually was Candy Barb that was part of it. You get the pride? <laughs> That's true. Hey, El, how you doing, man? Uh, you do get the pride. So, bunch of new styles, a lot of mastery. Just look, collected it all. And you can see, if you go into your tab here, you can then see you got your leisure dragon caches and just and uh, every time the first day you do a challenge doesn't have to be the collection one you get five extra coins and you get one for doing the level one and the, and then for the three and four you get these and i should have looked like these and showed you guys so these boxes contain uh dragon co uh, well <laughs> of course i get flux oh there we go dragon coins uh, dragon coins and when this bar goes all the way up to max uh, you get to 25 you can also get while going or getting up to uh, max you can also get the 25 which is the rarest drop you can get from these and if you need more dragon coins you can buy them from here if you really want to i wouldn't suggest you do so but you can 
there's also a way of buying them uh, and these can also contain like full dragons and stuff like that so there's a little bit but uh, again not necessary and don't i wouldn't uh, suggest it at all so uh pen should we do a bomber real uh just to show people a bomber real party thing you can't you cannot invite people to go in the same time you just have to sign up the the same time you can also do it by control b and then join the uh uh the bomber real if you want to do that oh you're in something okay right well i'm gonna do it it's it's a good time to do a bomber real for me now before we continue <laughs> Hey, Chrono, what's up? How you doing? So this is Bomber Rail. Oh, it's this map. Okay. <laughs> and as you can see, we are 13 people. So it's all about uh, last man standing. Uh, and then you're just basically pro bombs and people. <laughs> see if I can get some of these. Uh... And there it goes. There you have a grappling hook. And it's basically just grabbing all these. And then you can not do anything at the moment. Pro bomb. There we go. <laughs> Nate, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Okay, and we want to get... Oh, we want to get this one here over here. Oh, damn it. I missed it. And uh, I am definitely not a good pew peer. So uh, hopefully I will not fail too drastically. But I probably will. <laughs> I see. Now we are only 13 people left. L, thank you so much for the follow. appreciate it. Welcome. Again. <laughs> I guess. Or... There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got up here. Okay, now we are down to the last 10. I'm gonna throw some of these lava. Oh, he hit me with the lava. I wanna get one of these that has like less cooldown or less reduction. Or I can throw more D bombs. You wanna get to at least. Oh, there we go. 10. Awesome. So now we're at least we are guaranteed to get a reward uh, from this, which is really nice. And you can also do a uh, barrel roll. So uh, there's some people fighting here. I wanna throw some bombs at him. Oh dear. And see, the then of course, like, <laughs> I guess Fortnite, uh, the world shrinks and uh, you, there's no like potions and stuff like that. So now there's like the, the 10 people left. People are fighting. I'm just, <laughs> oh, there we go. Sick. Okay. So now we're eight people. And as you can see, uh, you get more and more rewards for uh, the higher you go. And I have done not, no damage to any people. Okay. Really good. I, I'm the best. Oh, I did a little bit of damage there. Okay. And also, we have a number one ability there. Oh, yikes. And this is just a very huge map, unfortunately. Uh, I don't like this map, but it does get closer. Now we're down to six. <laughs> Maybe I'll win just by being passive. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, he got me. He got me. So, I, uh, because I got to six, I got the bronze award. Uh, if you do the first blood, like this guy right here, he got the first blood. Uh, he will get this coin and he will get this one as well because he was bronze. These people down here won't get anything at all. Um, I did do a little bit of damage. I got some power-ups. Uh, but if you get to, I think it's four. I think four, three, and two, I think, gets this one. And then number one gets three coins. And, of course, plus this. if there's... And then you could just play again. But, uh, yeah, that's that's Bomber Real. And then you get some coins and there's some dragons. There's some different... Uh, pff, there's plenty of stuff, but um, the vendor is just right over here, and he's like two of them. And right now we have season two. Uh, we also have the season one stuff. And I'm pretty sure we're soon gonna get season three, but uh, yeah. And then there's also some old PvP stuff because there is different. And also you get experience in there. You do get ex experience for uh, doing bomber out, uh, and also your your I think your star bar goes up. But tomes that we have. Uh, sorry, uh, where my, where's my tomes? There you go. Tomes uh, also goes in there. Uh, gets extra experience for there. So, and we got a, uh, a coin. Great. All right. So uh, let's go to the uh, to, to the tutorial. <laughs> let's go to the the club, and we can continue there. Let me see. With a few people who play Bomb Rant, chance of getting into. Yeah. True. True. Uh, you're right, L. So some people just do like an AFK thing where they just like kind of just bfk and you can do that as well but uh yeah i wouldn't really suggest it anyways um i wanted to show you guys uh the styles so i don't want to look like a like i don't want to look like this so how you're going to change your appearance is that you uh left click mouse click i don't know what you how you change it on consoles actually but you left click oh I, there you go 
uh, left click, I use the right click. So over here is all the styles that I've collected. You can also see it right here. If you go into styles, you can see them all here. That's all the hats. So I want a different hat on my character. I want the, let's go with the uh, candy barb starter, starter helmet. Sure, why not? Starter helmet looks looks fine. Uh, we can do some other, we can do the Thundra. We do want to change our weapons. Oh, so we've got like big swords there. Let's change our face. Well, that we can't really do that because uh, we can hide our face because we have like a whole helmet on. So that's going to take off all that. But yeah, you can change that. Also, you can change in here, the costume right down here. So I have to start one. When I hit level 10, I get a new one. But I actually didn't know there was like this uh, helmet here. It looks very cool, actually. I wish there was a weapon to it as well. But we're going to continue our, you, our expertise thing where we're going to craft a ring box. So uh, crafting the ring table uh, in our, where is it at? Uh, let me see if I can find it uh, right here. Right. Let me see where's the ring in professions. There it is. Yes. Okay. So in your builder's crafting bench, you get the crafting uh, builder's crafting bench from the Novus crafting bench. It should be on your looting table or in your cornerstone, I mean. You craft uh, the builder's one, you get into the builders here and you go under professions. And I do have also, if you go into the description, there is a full uh, list of all the professions that are in there, room crafting, uh, Christology, and also gardening and stuff like that. But we're gonna focus on the gardening, uh, sorry, the ring crafting first. So I'm gonna do that, Cra do the crafting table. Oh, I cancel, oh, did I cancel it? Oh, I canceled it, okay, good. <laughs> Cause I do actually have it already crafted. I remember that, <laughs> and it's not part of that you have to do. So ring crafting, we got the ring, ring, ring crafting bench over here. Oh, that's hard to say. Uh, oh, pen ruined it. <laughs> oh, so uh, Chrono says that uh, all the helmets for cost, the costumes, the different levels, you get it on level 10, 20 and 30. There's some different costumes, you know, you can see the starter and then you get level 10. I think I can actually show you all of them. So you can see all of them here. And there's one for level 10 and level 30, uh, 20, sorry, and 30. And Chrono says that the, the level 31 helmet is, is for the gunslinger is, 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 is not great. <laughs> okay, so uh, it wants us to craft a ring box. And these are the ring boxes and you unlock it by, you know, crafting uh, more and more rings. And I, again, all the, that is in there. And one here gives you uh, health. You're guaranteed to get health, but then a the second stat is random. It can be laser mancy, it can be jumps, it can be uh, crit hit, and it can be stability. Well, stability is a stat where it just knocks you less back from enemies, but it's a very, very useless stat. Um, but we want to go for the physical damage because we are a physical damage character. If you don't know what your character is, if it's magic or physical, you can just go to look at your weapon. It says physical right there. You can equip that. You cannot equip guns and stuff like that. It won't even drop guns and staffs and stuff like that if you play only on the candy board for example you need a you need to be one of the characters that used to that uh, weapon to do so so we want to go for a physical damage one and we have to craft one of these boxes there we go and it says yay very nice and we now have the ring box before you had to throw it on the ground but i think you just uh, left click it now to open it up so we open it up and we get a, a crit hit there one i actually wanted one with jumps but uh, i'm fine with this so we're going to equip that by right clicking it or just adding it to this one. And then when you get uh, further on, it's going to be uh, better and better, uh, of course, uh, quality of rings and stuff like all the way up to to stellar rings, which is the highest. We got one day pass and some uh, some 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 of that cubits. Um, I'm going to put it in our personal chest, these two here. So, you know, use them. Uh, I can throw down this uh, pinata. Uh, you get every time you still fill up this star bar, you get one of these. So I'm gonna throw down, and this is just a pinata, and I can just hit it, and it's <laughs> and basically it just gives you some loot. It's gonna take a while actually. <laughs> is there any way to change it? So you can see I got a hundred flux and ten glim. That's what I got in this one. So if you you can have up to eight people getting loot for this. So if you have eight people that throw down a bunch of them, then uh, you get a you get, get a lot of them. <laughs> um, you are uh, you're gonna get a, quite a decent amount of materials and stuff like that. It's not a a good way to earn it, but yeah. So now we have to craft bombs. 
and bombs we craft in here somewhere i think i'm pretty sure let me make sure i never craft bombs oh they are in the no 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 they are in the adventures one there it is i think you can buy craft the adventures one here yeah that's the craft that's the adventures crafting bench craft these two benches they're by next to each other in here you can craft bombs uh you can also do some cornerstone stuff mobility some flux and some some other gym stuff that we'll get into but we have to craft bombs it says bombs uh just do one okay we craft yep that's it good so we crafted bombs very nice we got some flux capacity and now it wants us to get into the desert frontier uh, world which we actually was in but we are actually all level 10 so yeah you look like this of course just uh, here and you can see i get 100 flux for doing so uh, but we are going to move into doing all the trial classes because that's the fastest way to get to 20 mastery you can keep leveling uh but uh it won't really do anything also level 10 unlocks your um your uh what's it called uh your subclass i'm pretty sure you had to be level 10 to using any of these but i'm gonna can i use the knight really seriously i thought the knight had to be level no all right i thought then the knight had to be level 10 to use it no it just has to be level one you can't use the other one see uh the other ones i can't use because i haven't unlocked them but i unlocked the uh the boomeranger boomeranger and i also the knight is also uh, opened up so i thought the this one had to be level 10 the knight before i could use the subclass but you just have to be level 10 on your class to do so okay well i might have made it spoken on my videos then but it's not a big deal it's not really a big deal but uh we're gonna trial our classes to uh, you know at least level four so this guy is doesn't even have a mount on so let's just really quickly change that and we're gonna go to level four uh gets more loot than the others <laughs> don't be a fashion this disaster Oh, uh, if you if you know anything about me, Chrono, you know I am I, I'm a disaster. I'm not a, I'm not a fashionable guy. <laughs> so the trial is pretty cool because you can kind of try them out until you uh, you know if you, it's going to be something you want to unlock the next time. But it just gives you some doesn't take very long to get to level four, and just gives you mastery fifteen points every time you level up. So. Oh, this is going to be a while. <laughs> but it's, you, you get a lot more experience. Yeah, I'm already to level two just because of uh, it not being very hard. But now, oh, we got a, two faces, different faces. I, watch, I wish I was going to get a, uh, a gun so you could see I got a gun instead. So, yeah. Ellie. Didn't I say that? Did I say L? I said L, but Ellie. Okay. I'm sorry, Ellie. If there's something everybody knows is that I'm horrible at pronouncing names. Some people I just call like one letter and stuff. <laughs> it's not that I want to be mean or anything like that. Probably is. I'm probably a very mean person. No, it's because I'm. I I don't know how to pronounce it. There we go, level three already. And we got a gun, finally got a gun. And uh, two faces, okay. And let's see, we can't get further. Oh, okay. Chrono asked me to change the, the candy barb, uh, the level 10 helmet. Oh yeah, see now I changed costume by the way. See, that's a level 10 costume. So there should also be a helmet style with this so uh costume down here <laughs> look like a green elf <laughs> look like a green elf don't i uh, and you can change color uh, appearance of most things uh, on your characters all right so let's get back to this guy so he can get to level four what's up Deb? how you doing keep saying less over here like it's a pizzeria <laughs> i know i know i know I, I'm, I'm i'm saying it wrong but people know what i mean right you know you guys know what i mean am i getting bullied hello lasagna <laughs> Oh, 
Please give me a hat. Uh, a hat. Okay. Was it better than a one hat? No. That's the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we gotta do one more dungeon to get level four in this. <laughs> Las Pal Palosas? Plus, we're just here to uh, get the, the mastery. Oh, we can actually use, wait, what? Oh, damn, all right. I can actually use a, a the knight on this one? Okay, they changed uh, them a lot. Uh, this one, I can get a dino out. Kill him, dude. Definitely not trying to be uh, rude about not. I can't. There we go, level four, and now I can't. I can't gain any more experience. See, I uh, cannot earn pa after level four, so it just tells you. I'm gonna use. I'm going to use that helmet and that's it. Okay, so now we can change to the Chloromancer. And of course I do want to get that. And I can't use a gun on, but I can use the helmets and I can use the faces on this one. So we're not going to start at zero. So let's keep continuing doing this. Pretty crazy how much experience. And I would, again, if I used my patron and I used, um, if I used patron and uh, the uh, double XP potion, it would have gone like instant, probably, <laughs> probably be instant level four. Uh, but you see, I get a mastery for all of them. We are all, almost level 12, so. Speed of heat, man, speed of heat. <laughs> Not using the <laughs> So Penn made a, a costume called the Bee Mancer, which is a costume for the uh, the Chloromancer here, and I have that one because he was nice enough to give me a. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, he he was nice enough to give me a code for it. So since if you made a make a mod and it gets accepted, you get some codes for it. You can give to people, you know, wherever you want to. Oh, the top master. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a fight here or? And I'm kind of looking at gear, which I shouldn't be doing. Doesn't really matter. Oh, wife went down a big hole here. That's probably not a good idea, actually. <laughs> It's not a fight because I'm... <laughs> well, uh, let's not uh, argue with that. <laughs> Chrono says she's right. That that's not going to be a fight. I see. Okay, so uh, now that is level four. Now we're going to move on to the... Uh, uh, I'll give it a face as well. To the um, to Luna Lancer. And see, I uh, should be, oh yeah, well, I'm higher on the mastery, uh, not completely level, like new level. Maybe you should guys have a vote off with like, who's, who's the better Chloromancer costume. Yeah, Chrono made the uh, dubstep uh, costume for the Gunslinger. I have that one as well. Again, nice to, nice to know people. <laughs> yeah, that's like you're you're right, Chrono. The hex flame uh, mount is actually pretty cool um, as a starting mount uh, or as a mount you can get for free. Uh, you can also get the soul shaker. Oh, oops, I forgot I was playing on on a different character. Oh, uh, he's gonna be a while to take to, to defeat. So I don't have my number one ability yet. <laughs> it's locked because I'm only level one. I think I get a level two, right? I'm pretty sure. 
go. No, you don't. No. <laughs> so you get level three then. All right, hopefully I got a... Uh, this is a staff and staff. Oh, I didn't get any weapon. Oof. Bummer. That is uh, unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> you guys are really after each other today. Really after each other. So Pen made the other mount that are here, this Soul Shaker, that Pen made that one. So they're kind of <laughs> going after each other. Okay, here we go. Give me the level one ability, please. So I need to do something on this guy instead of just out attacking like this. There we go. All right. So now we can swing our lance. So I can do something. Uh, this one. All right. And now, <laughs> now we got a swapper. All right. So very slow. See, now we can use this much better. It's gonna take a lot of our energy, but it's gonna be a lot faster than it was before. A lot faster, uh, relatively faster at least. <laughs> Just swapping it. All right, cool, very nice. Uh, one more dungeon and switching again. Yeah, like. The uh, the Lunar Lancer is, is uh, number one, or no, sorry, not number one ability, but it's it's mouse ability, or I guess the second ability, however you want to call it. Uh, this one here, this one, and then you can use it again. Oh, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Uh, so basically, you can hit it, and then you can go go there. It's cool, but it doesn't really have much. Um, would you call it combat uh, abilities or combat function okay these guys are all over me uh, can you leave me alone please because we have to go to the revenant and he actually uses a spear as well so he can actually already start uh, by using this spear Britney Spears uh, we'll just give him this hat and uh, just this face so we can be a little more equipped and we are on the slowest mount there is possible and we can actually use again the candy knight because we unlock it. Oh, the gravel is fine. Oh, I thought that was the problem. Hmm. So what would you switch it for though, Chrono? If it sh if it shouldn't be like a s a swinging your uh, what's it called your um, um, your uh, spear as the Lunar Lancer as your number one ability, what should not shouldn't it be or what should it be then? If you don't have you know anything, it's, it's cool. <laughs> so putting kind of on the spot. Hey Seb, what's up? How you doing? I'm not a fan of the swinging ability, whatever it is. I don't know, it's just not my kind of deal. I don't know if it, part of this expertise uh, quest here or tutorial, if you can call it like that, has. Uh, oh, we can do this. Did we actually get a blue? What? Um, I don't know if any part of this is actually we have to do a bomber the match, but uh, <laughs> oh, ah yes, okay. That would probably probably not be a bad idea. Um, 
So we have something in the game called class gems, uh, which uh, changes abilities around for the classes. And Chrono says that maybe the Lunar Lancer's class ability or class key would be part of its, uh, you know, part of its um, like kit instead of being something where you have to get a class key. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, may I join you? Unfortunately, no, uh, Seb. The, the thing is that I'm doing ex a thing like called explain everything. I'm basically starting a new class, uh, a new account, and I am going all the way. Can you please? Um, I'm basically doing everything that you should be doing in the early game. Probably like some more or stuff like that, but I'm, I'm explaining most of the things at least. Um... And but with that, uh, I, I can't have people kind of join me and stuff like that because if they do so, uh, it won't be like a, it won't simulate what people like starting out do. So um, on my main account, you can join uh, me if you want to. You can add me. It's just who and I play on that. Uh, not always, but most of the time. <laughs> so. Uh, this is just a simulation of uh, of how it is to be a, a new uh, player. Oh yeah, I have remember to to play this character. <clears throat> so right now we are again still just working on through all the classes. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this guy as well uh, to level four as well. Uh, everything is going to be level 4 now except for the candy bar which is going to of course be level 10 and we're going to work some more on that afterwards but now we're just trying to get to now we're level 14 and uh, also you get to try out all the classes which is nice some of them are a lot stronger than some of the other ones are but they're cool <laughs> I was I was uh, I was planning on making a joke about that though. Um, Chrono says that uh, new players basically go around and begging for things and stuff like that. That's not the way for you to uh, make friends, or people will not just give you things. Uh, well, streams sometimes I give away some stuff, and and other people do so as well. You can't get from that, but like regular in-game players won't just like they will basically just ignore you and uh, that's not a good idea to have people ignore you from the beginning so just uh, take it slow I, the problem that many people i feel like have is that they want to go fast it's cool it's great to go fast but um just have fun just like take your time do it and you'll get there eventually When's the giveaway? When can I carry me? Stormman, uh, the Stormman, the Tomb Raider is pretty fun to actually play here. I haven't played it uh, like this. <laughs> and there we go, level four. Awesome. Okay, next class is the Boomeranger. Boomeranger. This is getting lower and lower down. Uh, so I want to use a weapon, but I can't use a st uh, that. Uh, oh, I got a f blue face. Cool. Doesn't uh, use spears, uses swords. So uh, I want to use a face. We'll just use that one. Oh, a face was that. I need a hat. You can use them. Yeah? I kind of need to place down my house now. Oh, you are Seb. Nice, twenty-five thousand. Good. Is that your first twenty-five thousand uh, character? Okay, we're gonna loot collect. Uh, now nah, I think I'm fine with this. All right. So you also get some mastery, of course, out of that. And we need to find a weapon. 
So this guy is actually kind of funny because you can actually get bows and you can get uh, uh, melee weapons like swords and yeah, stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Where did he hit? we hit? 15. So I really want a sword because it's a lot easier to level uh, the boomer uh, with, a, with a sword. So, yep, we got one. Cool. So I'm going to use that instead because it's, to me, it's a lot better. Oh, it has jumps on it or something. Oh, one of them has jumps on it. I could suddenly jump a lot. <laughs> oh, well, not too much then. Loot collecting the starter gear. Oh, yes. Have you still yours though, Krona? I don't have mine though. The starter gear, uh, Krona is talking about the starter gear, you get uh, all these things. Uh, that I have, yes. Ah, okay. I thought there was some, there might be some prestige in that, like uh, some collectors or something like that. All right, one more dungeon. And uh, this should be hopefully dropping some, yes, a bow, very nice. Hopefully, oh yeah, another melee weapon there because we need. There's a few classes that also need a melee weapon. Oh okay. I just thought it was, there might be somebody that's like, because it's something you would probably like delete yourself, right? Or yeah. Right, on to the... Uh, oh, I should have saved the <laughs> staff. Anyways, uh, we can get, get a hat and we can get oh, a hat. Didn't I get any faces? No, I didn't. Wow, really? Crazy. Uh, but this is one of my favorite classes, the Draco. Uh, I need to change the map, map for sure. There we go. Oh, I can actually get my house here. I can actually loot collect it back. Not a lot of people know this, but this little button here, you can loot collect back uh, things. Let me see. This is a spear. Uh, this is a face. Let me get that one back. And... Uh, a staff. There we go. And you can do that for 24 hours. Uh, you can collect your uh, stuff back. And then it disappears. So... Oh, you're not looking forward to Crystal 5 gear? No, me neither, but uh, it's going to be super interesting to see how they in introduce that, though. Pretty sure they were going to get Crystal 4, but uh, 5, sorry. Uh, but we'll shall see. Level 2. I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, well, it also has changed a lot. Uh, where are you at though, Seb? Uh, if you're 25,000, you probably want to max out your gems. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, a year, true. I think, like as I've said before, I think the next update we're going to see is uh, Season 3 of Bumper Real. The PvPs. The PvP. I'm pretty sure that's going to be our next update. Because it's a minor one and we just got a major one, so it makes sense to get that. But I'm pro pretty sure that Crystal 5 is going to be like 2,000 ores 
total to to upgrade now that crystal four is uh, one thousand yay level four. Oh, we got a staff i don't want to use it on this one because we're not going to go for that all right next is the uh is the oh i should have saved some guns then uh, is it a hut um hat and face okay we can go with this with the gunslinger okay uh again <laughs> and you don't have to do this every time but yeah i don't want to be on the the slow 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 mo mount so you go over here is it three mirror or something like that is that how you say your name anyway i can just call you three t3 <laughs> uh but hi how you doing <laughs> It'd be 10,000 10, cores. Damn, it could be. Could be 10,000 cores. Please give me a gun. Please give me a gun. Uh, this is a gun. Wow, it's really hard to see if it's a gun or not. That is really hard to see. I should probably also just kept the weapons though. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> got a bunch of stuff. You don't have to loop collect it. It'll just stay there. But it will disappear if you don't uh, remove it over time. Or with time. Or charging up my shot. <laughs> of course, this is going to be... Oh, well, this is faster when you do another Saturday. Uh, than it is on any other day. Oh, we got a crystal thing. Uh, no, I thought I could make it over. Damn it. <laughs> Yikes. It's so warm today. Yes, it's pretty, pretty hot out there. Uh, I wanted to open my window, uh, but when I open my window, you can hear the street. And, you know, the... Uh, it's quite annoying people uh to hear that Pew. we can shoot ourselves in the air and let, like i said in the beginning uh, the gunslinger here is actually one of the uh in-game ones it doesn't seem like it is right now i know uh but it is <laughs> it is one of the uh starting ones or it in-game ones that might mean but some is just a lot better at farming you know uh and some is just a lot more uh, high damage uh so the class gym for example for the gunslinger is that you can uh, all your all your abilities becomes this charge shot i can see right these circles this is a charged shot which does a lot of damage and you get it by just shooting but when you have your uh, you know your number two ability on going on um and you have the clash gym it will always be these charge shots as long as that is going on so anyways uh here we go near ninja near ninja let's go um we got a melee weapon, cool, and we got a face, we got a hat, great. And we gotta change this to this. It doesn't have to change it, it actually doesn't really do anything. So this is one of people's favorite as well because it farms pretty well. <laughs> yeah, because it's a ninja ninja and you can do the like the backflip here and then it does uh, more damage to the things great right <laughs> um and we don't have to change anything because we have here oh there's a lot of dungeon this way yeah it's 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 actually extremely uh neat well 
At least, if it doesn't get as hot as it got in the last couple of years, I'm happy. But it kind of next week we're gonna have like 23, 25 degrees Celsius in Denmark, which is going to be hot. Well, it's not 30 degrees, but I like 20. 20 and clouded. That's my that's my jam. That is my jam. Because when this like it, I don't mind it being warm, but when the sun is out as well, then yeah. So as you can see on the uh, near ninja here, you can do you can see those uh, th circles that I do, those three circles that is around me. Uh, the more circles you get, you can get you can send more uh, shurikens. So now I can only send two. Sorry. There's a police car. Sorry. Why am I saying sorry, by the way? It's not me that ordered a police car for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, when you do, uh, when you get the class gym, it does more damage the more circles you get. But uh, the more circles you have before the class gym, the more shurikens you send out. You can see, see those three shurikens there. Um, and those mean. Uh, of course, uh, that also does more damage when it hits more, multiple things and stuff like that. But that's kind of how you play the Ninja Ninja. Big shurikens in your face. Alright, here we go. You could also just equip all of them, by the way. So they will be equipped. Also, this uh, backflip gives you more movement speed and stuff like that, so it becomes super fast. So there we go. Awesome. Okay, the next class, the candy barb that we already have. So now we need we just one, two, three, four, five. So pretty soon, we're done. Uh, here we had a staff for this guy. We have a face. We have a hat. Don't we have a hat? Should have a hat. There we go. And again, we change. Next style. So at level twenty, like I could get the marketplace, so we can get the jumps thing. So it's just gonna be a lot, more, not a lot more fun, but it's just gonna be. Oh, it's low. <laughs> I'm happy I have some gear for this one because if I didn't, I would have been crazy slow. <laughs> uh, right, let's continue over here. Oh, this way. Where there's actually du actually dungeon. Why is crystal so common now? Uh, they buffed the uh, them dropping. Crystal 2 and Crystal 3, they buffed the drop rate of them because there is now Crystal 4. Uh, so people can actually get into getting Crystal 4. I don't feel like they buffed it uh, that much, but um, of course it's also uh, and it, it's also something to do with uh, people have gained a lot more uh, magic find. And uh, the more magic find you have, the more chance you have to uh, finding uh, Crystal gear. Not the rarity of it, but the uh... yes, I'm leveling a new account. Uh, well, I'm not really leveling a new account. I'm making uh, explain everything. Basically, I am explaining uh, most of this stuff is in the tutorial <laughs> or in the expertise quest, but I'm adding some more information to it. And basically, it's like you can call it play with me or whatever. I'm going to take this whole footage that is here and I'm going to put it on YouTube. All the five hours I'm going to stream today. I'm going to just put uh, upload the raw footage. I'm going to do a little bit of editing, editing, but it's, it's like just like an intro and like, uh, uh, yeah, it's not really going to be any editing uh, an ending as well. That's what I mean. Um, and, uh, that's just going to be it. Um, and then I'm gonna upload all the five hours. So it's kind of like a new 
Um, it's like a you could kind of call it a tutorial, but you can also just kind of call it a explain everything. Uh, started early game edition, first five hours of gameplay, what you have to be focusing on, what you should be doing, and it's for new players. I'm I'm con right now I'm making I'm even making a script. I never make scripts for my videos because it I I rarely get off I kind of get off topic anyways and I feel like it's kind of robotic if I'm just saying you have to get to do this now and just want to be more free sometimes it also has a downside of course uh, that that I ramble on and stuff like that in my videos but I try not to and it I feel like it's okay I feel it's okay uh, I, at least I you know try my best to to do so <laughs> Um, but I am trying to, uh, I'm making a video where I explain everything, but it's going to be more tutorial styled video where I say, this is a, this is a profession. This is what you do with a profession. This is ring profession. This is room as uh, not doing like a full, because I have full guides on every thing, but I'm going to say, this is a ring crafting. This is where you make your rings. You can go all the way up here and then I'll make timestamps for it. This is not going to have timestamps. This one here. Um, but the other ones are going to have timestamps. It's kind of like how to gain. I have a video that's kind of explaining how to get gain mastery, power rank, and stuff like that. Uh, all right, on to the gunslinger, I was about to say. On to the uh, shadow hunter. Okay, uh, do you have a, we have a hat here? Is this a also one? Oh, this is a hat. Okay, I want to use that hat instead. Use this face. Okay, oh, and we got to switch again. So it's more just like a raw footage. So people don't like have to watch all of this, but uh, you know, I have a few tips and tricks along the way and adding a few things and yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm going to upload this whole thing to YouTube, all five hours. And... Uh, Oh, we <laughs> Shadow Hunter is so slow. Um, and people could, like, again, I'm not saying this is a, a complete tutorial thing, but it's probably going to help some people in the early game, you know? But I'm not, I'm not. I'm not kind of saying anything new that isn't in all my other videos. Uh, I got inspired to do this because of uh, one of my friends called Cesarian. He did like a, for Path of Exile, he did like explain everything it's called as well. Uh, but just for like uh, Path of Exile basically. So I got inspired to do a video like that because I thought it was very, very helpful what he had he'd done. And I thought this could be something that uh, Trove as well uh could or people that are playing trove could be could benefit them okay so before i loot collect all this stuff again and i have to go back and bring it i'm going to switch it over to this one get it this gear uh i need a face that's fine uh get that and get that here as well and oh i don't have any gun right oh i did have guns i did have guns that's good 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 um bu -bu -bu -bum. use that one oh what did i get oh i got the badge ah i see for power rank i think i got the one for power rank uh Yes, see, when you get classes to at least uh, uh, upgrade 15 classes to power rank 22, next thing is to get them all to f uh, at least five classes to level five plus a 5,000 power rank. So that's something that you can do. That's why I suddenly dinged <laughs> uh, a face. Yes, great. And the last thing is the knight. And I should have a... Weapon for that somewhere. Oh, that's a staff. Got the bow. That's a melee weapon. Great. 
Oh, what was that one? Is that uh, face and a hat? There we go. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. We were on the Shadow Hunter. So now we can loot collect it all and get some more mastery. So now we're 19. So getting closer. Uh, let me uh, let me look like all this. Open some of these here. Starter ones. Throw some of the. Oh, can't be used in this world. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, we didn't know that. What do I think of other trove YouTubers? They're all bad. No, <laughs> I think it's amazing. The more the more YouTuber we have, the better it is. Uh, it's uh, absolutely important. Um, take for example, uh, Scythe for example, uh, his, his latest video, not latest video, sorry, this, his uh, guide, I think, I think it last time I checked, cause I, I do check all, all the other YouTubers because I'm very, uh, inspired by the other ones, uh, you know, and not that I do their videos, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it's inspirational to see some people being passionate about what they do. That's what I mean. Um, and he, he, the point is that the guide for the latest event, he got like 23,000 views on it or something like that. And yeah, yeah, of course, it's not going to all be unique uh, views. That's what I mean. It's not always all the... Might be people that are checking it out multiple times, right? But let's say it's just 20,000, right? 20,000 people checked out this video. That means that he helped 25 or 20,000 people. That's 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 the what is absolutely mostly important. That is that we get to help uh, people and and what I mean by it's good that we have different YouTubers is that uh, everybody likes different styles. So some people might like the way that Scythe does his videos. Some people might like mine or a completely no another one. Uh, Detroit Gamer, for example, put out a bunch of videos as well as recently. Had has he hasn't done that in a while, so it's really awesome to see him uh, be back doing that. So it's super important that we uh, that that we have different YouTubers and they do different or do the same thing. Basically, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the, the most important thing is that we get to help people and everybody has like in their own style and think that the way I do videos is very awesome and they, other people think that Scythe's videos is awesome and stuff like that. And then I can have my personal opinion about how I feel about their videos, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, that shouldn't be, you know, any concern of anybody else, whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's my opinion about the other YouTubers. It's uh, the more, the, the more, the better. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it's bad for the people that try to live off it. If that's their point, you know, when views get spread out on more people, but I don't, uh, I, uh, I do this as a hobby. And I love the, the full-time job I have as a teacher. So uh, I would probably have a very, very hard time going full-time, even if I had like the views or the, uh, the viewers on Twitch, for example, to do so. Not that I would be opposed to it, but it's just, it would be a very hard decision to do to, uh... so there you go. Now there is a um, new hourly challenge. It's doing city near and city biome. Um, the higher you go on, on this ladder here, all the way up to nine, you nine right up here, uh, the more steps, uh, so first you have to, this is basically dungeons. So you have to do five dungeons in the Neon city biome. Uh, but if you do go higher on here, all the way up to uh, you nine, uh, the better chance, uh, or the more, uh, sorry, it's going to count towards it. Also, if you use a dino tamer or a candy bar, you will also get, uh, you know, extra uh you know get extra you know dungeons on on this one so it probably like if you use a uh you know a dino tamer and a, or a candy bar in a u9 biome uh, or sorry in your neon biome in u9 <laughs> neon city biome in u9 uh you probably like get like uh, nine or something like that steps on count as nine dungeons in in that i don't know if that's it seems hard to explain just like that but you can do these as well, and uh, but the coin collection you can do from like right from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. I have the same opinion like you. Oh, okay, good. I'm happy that we have the same opinion about the YouTubers. 
I've worked with a lot of the content creators on Twitch. We had, uh, I have on the, on my YouTube channel, I, I have a series called State of Troll. It was a lot easier to do when they had their own live stream because uh, they basically gave us some sneak peeks of what was coming up and stuff like that. So I could uh, make like questions for the content creators. Uh, I've had AM on, I've had, uh, I've had Sky the Virus, I've had uh, a bunch of people on uh, the state of that. And it was also to collab with some, uh, you know, content creators. I even asked uh, Lord Faffy or Faffy, I asked him, but he didn't have the time to do so at the, at the moment, at that time when I asked him, um, but he thought it was a good idea and stuff like that. But the point is, um, it's just very hard to do now because the problem is that we don't have the like kind of a new show thing going on so we can't really like theorize what is going on like next and and, and so on uh but yeah also it takes like a lot of effort it's not just like two people sitting down and talking it's it, it takes a while you have to coordinate with another person that person might live in a very different part of the world from you and also you have to you know um prepare questions and stuff like that it's um <clears throat> not as easy as it looks <laughs> so that's why i kind of uh, ended that uh that uh that series it just takes like the effort is just quite crazy <laughs> yeah i like faffy as well uh, i think he's He's a cool guy. I don't. Th I don't. I don't have any issues or anything like that with any of the other people. I know people. Some people don't fancy Scythe that much, but I think he's like he's also just a guy. Like he might be sometimes. He's like kind of says the wrong things and stuff like that. But not that I say the wrong things. But you know the way that the way that I am or the way I mumble or the way I how I'm. I'm, I'm like entertaining uh, it might not be for everyone right so uh i've been called even <laughs> even having like less than 2000 subscribers at this point i've been called like uh only a few times only a couple of times i have been called like uh some nasty things useless and uh other words <laughs> um and my point is that it for a guy like Scythe, you know, he's probably also uh, getting called all sorts of, uh, unfortunately, uh, horrible things, which he, he doesn't deserve. Like, he might be wrong about some things and he might have a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, what would you call, like, uh, act, uh, arrogant kind of attitude sometimes toward uh, some people and whatnot. But yeah, I don't think people, other people are making it uh, easy for him either. So I just understand what he's like going through, if that makes any sense. <laughs> act like you're five and you get 10k. Well, I would rather uh, act like how I am right now and uh, just uh, keep it. <laughs> What? Do I have any wings on? What? I had wings on all the other ones, didn't I? <laughs> I did. What? How did the wings get removed from this character? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Yeah, being a YouTuber is uh, can be hard. It's not always just like uh, like hard. Like like just take for example, people uh, YouTubers that are hated. You know, big YouTubers uh that are getting that hated by like uh, like everyone right uh of course there's also a lot of positive i get a lot of positive on my videos i gotta say i i uh, i do like that my my number one thing and if you are trying to be a youtuber and stuff like that i have learned you have to find out or figure out something uh that drives you basically 
and it can't well, I, I'm not saying it can't be money and it can't be view, it can't be views or be subscribers, but you know, in the beginning when I started, I was like, oh man, I got like a hundred subscribers or something like that or whatever. But I was always comparing myself to other people. Like, why does this guy have more subscribers than me? Why does this guy get more views than I do? And that's just a bad way to do it. That's just you, you're gonna you're gonna be very uh, you're gonna be very sad that people are getting more like that if that's the that's the way you are uh, thinking about things. So really early, I uh, I decided not to focus on that and actually focus on what I actually what the point of my YouTube channel actually was and is to help people. And uh, there's a lot of, I could help people in other games as well, but Trove, I know a bunch of, and I actually like playing it. So that's why I keep making content to it. Oh, cool, dude. What's that? Oh, okay, we got level four. Good. All right, cool. We are now all of them level four, and our main character being level ten. Oh, oops, I forgot one. <laughs> I forgot one. Never mind. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah, we got. I forgot the uh, <laughs> the Vanguardian. This is uh, yeah. My bad. <laughs> no, never mind. He uses claws, so he can actually not get anything. But he they'll drop some claws as well. He's a little bit different to unlock uh, than the other ones are. There we go. Might as well get him to level four. Just get that extra mastery. We should, did we get some claws somewhere? Can I see? Oh, fist weapons. Oh yeah, claws, fist weapon. Yeah, same thing. Um, yeah, here we go. So yeah, I uh, I keep going because I can help people, and of course it help it doesn't. I'm I'm happy that people like my stuff, of course, but uh, if focusing on uh, ooh, the blue fists, and now we are rank. Uh, we are actually rank uh, mastery 20, uh, 21, So we actually didn't need to do so, but. Uh, I want to get that mastery as well. And then, like I said, it doesn't take very long and we're not really, it would be even faster uh, if we'd use the double XP potion and we use the, um, both the double XP potion, but also the patron. Now we can actually do uh, this here as well. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, yeah, of course the the uh, the the, uh, the motivate. Of course, it, it also does that for me when I get positive comments, people thanking me for that. But of course, it, it also motivates me to to do, but uh, more in the sense of um, that I, uh, you know, people uh, got help. That's that's the main part. Because I really think that Trove is a great game, and I hate it when people don't, uh, you know, give it a fair chance uh, because they get stuck. So that's why I kind of want to make that av uh, information available for them. That's why I'm making this video as well, you know, I'm making this so people uh, have a chance that they can just, you know, play these five hours, and they hopefully gonna be at the even more maybe hours, but they're at least going to be closer to. Uh, not get stuck at the uh, the main or at the start of the beginning of the game. All right, awesome. Oh, we got a helmet, Shadow Dome. All right, so as you can see in the mastery, we are now 21. Total mastery, actually, because we actually got three levels here as well. Uh, oh, we see now we can trade a trade post and access to that. So let's see, we want to get back to our candy bar. And we want to get head into the club because we want to loot collect and we want to kind of reset everything. Do, do, do. 
going a couple hours now. It's pretty good. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, okay, let's do collect all of this. Bunch of stuff there. Uh, oh, a cash chest. Nice. You get these from dungeons. Uh, let's get these down. Let's. Get this uh, out of the way. There's also some styles you can get out of this. Out of these here. Come on, hit him! Hey, there we go. Okay, so yeah, see, we got the shooter. That's gonna give us uh, one mastery point as well. All right. Uh, okay, so. We want to enter the desert frontier one. We want to work on still uh, uh, see start unlocking some of these water uh, these gym slots and stuff like that. We'll get into that uh, in a little bit. Uh, let's see. All right. So the marketplace. This is the marketplace. Uh, I don't know if you can buy an old. Can you buy an old boot? You can't. Okay. Good. We want to buy an old boot. Uh, maybe we just want to. I just want to buy one. Everything is on five. Just want to buy one. Oh, 350 for one. Okay. Eh, just forget. I guess that's the same. Might as well buy five. Okay. We buy five. Five boots. Okay. So I bought five boots. I have 5,000. So it's it's pretty neat. So we want to go to the tutorial old hub. And we're going to do that. What are good clubs on PC? Uh, good clubs on PC is uh, Lasseria, for example, Edge of Abyss, uh, Alpha Legacy. Uh, those are uh, pretty good clubs. We have our own club, our community club. Uh, those clubs I actually just mentioned are, are um, uh, what's it called? Something that requires you to have a, a bunch of mastery uh, and a bunch of power rank on one class and stuff like that. Our community club does not require you to do anything or have anything at all. You just have to whisper me on Discord or uh, in game if you see me, add me as a friend and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, right now I'm playing on a tutorial class, uh, account, if you can call it like that. Uh, but everybody can join this one, and we don't we don't have like the in-game fixtures. We have this one, who gives you 10% critical uh, hit chance uh, if you set this uh, you know cl uh, club as your primary. If you only have one club, this is going to be automatically set as your primary club. Uh, but this, like I said, this gives you 10% critical hit chance and 100% extra critical damage. So if I go in here, you can see I have so much actually, and I'm just only level 10. Um, so here you get also 15% physical damage and 15% uh, magic damage. These are uh, different uh, main fixtures that doesn't do anything. There's some NPCs and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about that. The traveling merchant is just, uh, you get, uh, the club gets free uh, club it, which is to pay rent for the club for these fixtures to have. Uh, the more fixtures you have, the more it's going to cost you every week. But this is a, doesn't because we got so many cubits or clubits, sorry, from uh, the traveling merchant every day. Then um, what's it called? Um, uh, it basically doesn't cost the uh, this this club to be running ever. Uh, so that's why it's in here. You can also buy some stuff from it and stuff like that. But that that's a different thing. But this one is the main thing basically. This one is going to give you 100% extra experience all the time. Uh, and it stacks with every other buff there is to experience and it's a really good one to level up in so and you yeah ours can be joined by anybody uh we don't have any requirements to to do so so yeah why did i start with the candy bar because the candy bar is a very very strong uh, early game class of the starting classes you have access to all right so uh let's go with the um the, uh, we got the boot, so we can make this with the eight one, but I actually want to make this one, or depending on what the golden salt cost and this one cost, because this is going to give us some uh, physical damage character. Physical damage character, blah, that's what I mean. Physical damage. So uh, you can go with this one. I actually have a golden soul. Oh, I need five golden souls. That's why I was like, ah, I see. But you can buy this one. Then you have the eight jumps. But I want to see what uh, golden uh, golden souls cost. So we're gonna go golden. Souls one is a thousand. That is pretty pricey. That is pretty pricey. I'm probably not with the five thousand I have, it's not enough gonna be up there. 
so we're just gonna craft this boot. It's it's eight percent, so it's a little bit, but we have that this wall, this golden soul, and this one. So, yes. Okay, so getting that also gives us ten mastery, as you can see down there. <coughs> Sorry. And now I want to equip this one because now I have the eight jumps. So now do I have to worry about jumps anywhere? I don't have jumps anywhere, but now if you can see right here, I have ten jumps. So you can see now I can jump all the way up here if I need to. So it's going to make it a lot more easier to do so. And yeah, the boot didn't cost us very much. I even have some leftover that I get to put back on the marketplace. <laughs> uh, do we just sell? It costs 70. So let's sell it for 50. Just so be nice to people that are there. You know, there we go. No response, what do you mean? 30% PD? What do you mean? 30% Oh, okay, sure. Uh, lucky, throw them in there. <laughs> I, um, I'm playing on this uh, Everything Explained character. Uh, to kind of help people for the like first five hours. You can also call it play with me or whatever you're gonna call it. But <laughs> let's uh, let's continue. Um, we gotta have to enter the desert frontier, which is over here. We are level ten, so we should actually go here. But <laughs> we're going here instead because that's what it wants us to do. Luna Lancer and Candy Barb have thirty percent PD. Does it fatal damage? Hmm. Well, it is a uh, it. No matter kind of like the. Um, no matter what the how much the it's just a good starting class. Uh, stats really don't matter uh, here in the beginning. So uh, the next step was to do def uh, defeat more dungeons. So we're gonna do that in in the Fey area instead because we are level ten. There's no point in continuing here. We are going to go here. Is it? Uh, is this where is it? Oh, this is and this is where uh, shadow gear starts dropping. So, uh, in the Uber One world, shadow gear is going to start dropping, and that's what we're really looking for. That is what we're really looking for, because uh, that is what we're going to forge up, and it's going to be the best way to gain your power rank in the beginning. Also, I think we're gonna. This is where you start getting gems. I'm pretty sure you get the starting gems here, as far as I remember. Right? Such a long time since I've done this, but. Pretty sure when we open this box, we should be able to get a beginner gym box. Yes, we did. There we go. This is what we want to do. The gym boxes. So, um, explaining gems is a quite a long task, but I'm going to explain a little bit of it. So, from here on, we are going to get better and better gems. Better, better boxes. And in the end, right over here in U9, we're going to start getting st uh, shadow boxes, which are guaranteed to give you shadow quality gems. There's also a chance of getting radiant ones and stellar ones, but those are quite rare, but not impossible to get. If you're looking for like specific uh, water, air, or fire gems, this is there is also places to do that as well. This starts at water, this starts at Uber 3. Um, what's it called? If air starts at 5 and uh, fire starts at, at 9. So if you want to go out and, you know, farm specific colors you can do so as well because these here in the inner circle you can call it like that the inner circles is going to give you uh these boxes here which uh can have any color that is is in the game except for the cosmic ones those are specifically down here which we, i don't know if we're going to get today but uh these, so so this one is gonna i don't know what color this is going to be okay it gave us actually a blue which is actually nice but the problem is it gave us magic damage so you're probably like, oh no, magic damage sucks. And that is true because we are physical, but we do have an open slot here, which is good because we can add 36 extra uh, power rank to our class. So that's great, but we want to have physical damage, of course. So we're going to oh, do some more dungeons, open some more boxes, and hopefully get a uh, one with physical damage dead. So of course, as you can see right here, I don't know actually which one, 23, isn't there one that opens up before that? Yeah, 13, 13, so we are now 10, right? So at 13, this one is gonna open up. 
And at 12, we're actually going to get a water big one, and that's from the Empower GM boxes. I'll talk about that a little bit when we are, uh, I guess, well, we kind of talked about them. I, I don't really, I can't, they're pretty much timed. So as, as I talked about before, they are, you know, from here, but they can also get, you can also get them from the lunar uh, souls and stuff like that. So, but we'll probably go and delve and do that later. That makes a lot more sense when I can show you guys the boxes and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. Also, but the critical hit we can use, that's 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 given for everyone. So let's do some more dungeons uh, and form, uh, get some more boxes. And so my point was that it's a really good idea. Uh, to the, the, more, the more levels you get, the more power rank you can get by unlocking uh, uh, gym slots. Because you can equip more. Even though they're bad, they can still be equipped. And they're still going to give you the, the mastery uh, from that. Yes. And we should be getting uh, some our okay gear. So the gear now is going to be uh, a random. Uh, you can get now when you get enter. Uh, sorry, I can also enter here <laughs> now. But when we get to uh, Uber One, we can start getting. Um, Gotta go this way. Uh, we can start getting shadow gear. We can get a radiant gear and stellar gear and stuff like that. Uh, not crystal gear. Crystal gear. If you hear, hear about that, that's uh, something uh, where it's something that's exclusive down to here. Right here, we have a. You can also see on the map we have a uh, recipe dungeon. So all the biomes has recipe dungeons when we get into the Uber worlds here, and it's basically just a dungeon that has a recipe. Uh, to a style that you can, you know, uh, craft some stuff with that, that's just decorative and stuff like that. But we get this uh, recipe and you can also buy these off the marketplace if you want to do that. But it's going to give you a random recipe uh, that you don't already know. So that's, we got this little uh, lamp foot thing. So that's going to give us two mastery points for that. So uh, doing these also gives you a couple of mastery points for doing that. So... If we see some of those, we're probably uh, not going to do them <laughs> because uh, they don't give you uh, gear per se, but they do increase to your uh, mastery. And mastery is, it does also give you power for sure, but it does not give you as fast as, uh, as items or gear is going to do so. And again, we're uh, keeping up with the level. Uh, I think we need to get level 12 to head into the next world. See, uh, let's see, we are in here and this is um, Uber World. We can actually go here and show you the Shadow Towers afterwards, but let's, let's continue. We need to be level 12 and we're still level 10. So yeah. And I kind of want some new wings because these are descending really fast. But we do have the eight jumps, which is nice. You can see it's a lot easier. And I don't have to worry about what gear I equip and stuff like that. So, But I wish we would find like a shadow item. Uh, all items, all gear can be, uh, you know, traded and except for crystal gear cannot be traded. Uh, but shadow gear, radiant gear and stellar gear can be traded. So, yes. But I'll hopefully we get to 5,000 power rank today. That would be awesome because then I can actually go here and I can show you guys to get some a big boost to your gear as well. So now it's just leveling. Uh, there's there's basically not a lot more to to I guess to the uh, different things. So just gonna level. And, uh, oh, I made a mistake. I need to go up. Some of the dungeons can also be lasered. You don't have to bomb all of them. And also, of course, the marketplace. There's a bunch of stuff you can buy. Uh, easy, non-expensive uh, things as well. So we leveled up to, uh, you know, I think we leveled like the mastery. No, we didn't. We got our, 
Oh, we did. Um, we did this, of course. <laughs> now we can open this. Uh, but on the marketplace, there is a you can you can do this and also sort by price. Actually, I forgot to do that. I should have done that, but that's fine. Um, hide collected. So if I go under allies, for example, I can probably find some pretty cheap allies. Uh, I should probably not do the price thing. So yeah, I can get some pretty uh, uh, cheap ones. Probably be quite expensive right now. But uh, let's go under. Emblems, is there any an inexpensive? Uh, these are pretty expensive up there. Uh, Mac Riders, 10,000. Mounts, I know there's some very cheap mounts. Yeah, see there's a there's a Starlight mount, you can do that. 150, that's like nothing. Learn that. And now when I search again, it should be gone. So now the next one is this mount, for example. So this one be, be that. Um, so got a little mastery from that. So you can go through all of these uh, if you want to to see if there's something you want to buy. Uh, it's, it's usually not worth it to go through all of these and do so, uh, because un unless you are in, I would say, the end game. So now we have to enter here. We are already here, but uh, all right. We get a party animal. Oh, cool. Can I? OK, we can go to the Shadow Towers, and then we can go back to the Fae. Ah, yeah, 5,000 in one day is, is, I'm only gonna do five hours today, uh, but yeah, you are right. It, it's pretty easy to go to 5,000. Hey, Glitchy, what's up? How you doing? Uh, oh, <laughs> I guess it's already uh, apparently said that I was going to, uh, <laughs> that I actually registered, that I actually went somewhere else, but we are in the Shadow Tower lobby. Uh, this is the old uh, Shadow Towers that was used before, but now we are doing uh, Death Delve and stuff like that. I'll show you guys that later on. But in the Shadowy Market, uh, you can uh, you can craft different things like Shadow Caches. Those have Heart of Darkness, which is a crafting material. It also has uh, some fragments for a dragon and so on. Then there is a Heart of Darkness. Those, uh, like I just said, it was in the Shadow Caches. These can also be bought on the Marketplace, by the way. Uh, but these basically cost you different things. There's costumes, Mac Riders, allies and stuff like that, some costumes uh, that all give you mastery and, and, and whatnot. Then you got your Titan Souls, you get that from Delve. Uh, there's also some mastery points to get here. Uh, and also you can actually buy ca Shadow Catches, but uh, yeah. And here you got the Lunar Souls. That's also something you get in the, um, in the Delve once a week uh, resets. And here's the Empowered Gem Boxes that I was talking about. Uh, so the empowered gem boxes are very time uh, they, they can't be traded uh, and they can't be picked up on the marketplace uh, you can get them rarely in the gem booster boxes but I would not suggest you buy those unless you have a ton of this because uh, there's a lot of stuff you should buy before that uh, for example there's uh, tomes uh, oh not these tomes uh, where's the dragon there it goes this one this dragon tome is going to give you 25 dragons a week just by doing dungeons and stuff. And uh, yeah. Then you got some just four divinities. That's also the same wear. And then you got your souls for shadow and stuff like that to upgrade them as well. So fun, 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 fun. Uh, so we want to throw down this pinata. Oh, they can't do it in this world. Sorry. Uh, let's go to the. So there's just a little bit about the shadowy, shadowy market uh, again. Yes, the, the, the knight is pretty good to main, but it's not, the, it kind of falls off in the in-game. Uh, I have a video where I explain all the classes, uh, which ones are good. Uh, you can definitely use the knight to farm with. There is no content you can't farm with the knight or any of the other classes. But when it comes to delve, uh, and you're going to the very lowest of, or very deepest levels of delve, there is some classes that benefit or do uh, significantly better than other ones are but if you main if you main the knight just keep doing that and just have fun with it and then uh, keep unlocking classes uh, until you have uh, them all unlocked and uh, you have them all level 30 and then you should be looking into getting into the deeper delve or it doesn't really matter to be honest yeah he is he is definitely fine right I'm throwing the pin <laughs> okay somebody I'm I'm defeating you. <laughs> I threw that party animal over there, guys. <laughs> hey, kill it. 
the boys. <laughs> so yeah, these are piñatas, and uh, oh, they they actually gave me a recipe for Neon, Neon City, so I'm two more extra mastery points. That's nothing we are going to be mad about. So uh, it wants us to open up a gym box, so we're gonna do that. Oh, we got a fire one, and this has physical damage. Nice. So this is a bigger, better tier. So we did that. So now it has to use a golden gem key. Do we do we get one of those? Oh, we do. Oh, you get one of those. Okay. So one of these are, um, all right. So when we open this, you can use the key up here and that's gonna guarantee you to get the best loot out of this. So uh, even though I don't really wanna use it on this here because uh, this is not the best, uh, I just, I'm just i just gonna do what the tutorial says. So, yes. Oh, actually gives you a, a stellar one. Damn, right. And we even got a, wow, okay. We even got a, uh, we even got a physical damage one. So gems can always, um, so lesser, this is the lesser gems. I call them the small gems uh, because the, the bigger ones, oh God, I'm just stepping ahead. Um, <laughs> so um, the bigger ones, you always want to have three stars on them when they are level one and three stats. That's the only thing you really have to worry about. Uh, for um, lesser ones, you get uh, two stat. Oh, sorry, two stars and three stats as well. It's very important. That's the only thing you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about the power rank of them itself. You can always make them perfect in the end. The higher power rank a gem starts out with at level one, the less uh, you have to crafting materials in the end. You have to fix uh, the gem. So, of course, if you have this gem, for example, that I have right here, that has exactly the same stats and you know exactly the whatever but has maybe less say six 600 uh, power rank to start out with of course you should equip that one instead of the one that has 577 but this is fine this is some this is a gem you would actually go all the way to level 25 and then you would max it out uh, the stats on it afterwards and you can always change the stats around on it uh, except you cannot change the physical damage on it and if it was a magic damage one you couldn't change that either on it but on the imperial uh, empowered ones the big gems those you can change all the stats around if you want to do so also uh the cosmic ones if we get to that uh there's a light stat on that which is a completely new stat uh that one you cannot change the light stat on them either uh but yeah there you go yeah 577 it's actually pretty pretty good gem so these are the the, the best gems in the game basically so i'm gonna use that and um, you don't have to take this gem out. You can just uh, take it and just replace it. And it says you want to, you know, uh, you want to destroy it, the one that is equipped. And of course, you want that because it's a lot better. But uh, there's also in the shop, there's gems. And these regenerators, you can basically take out your gems if you want to do that and then replace other gems if you want to save these. But this is a very poor, poor gem. So we are not going to use that at all. So we're going to equip this one, just destroy it. Yes. And they actually gave us 577 gem power, uh, power rank. So right here, you can see uh, from my level of my class, I get 165 power rank. I get 15 from having my class uh, right here, or my, uh, sorry, my e equipped, my uh, subclass. Uh, 124 for my equipment. That means this, that on this side here, or this, on this page here. Then I get 88 from my master rank and 15 from my geo master rank. And then because I have no dragons yet, I get zero from dragons, but I get 577 from my uh, gems. So uh, over half of my power rank comes now from gems. And uh, you're not always as lucky as getting a gem that you can use or, you know, all these things. So, um, Gems do carry you later on in the game, but in the beginning, uh, forging up your gear is a lot easier. This this is something lucky. You can't, and also you have to rank up a lot or power up your character. What it's called? Level up your power. Your clan. Your ugh, sorry, you have to uh, level up your character for very long to get all to level thirty and unlocking all these. These all slots are unlocked already from the beginning, so these can be accessed where, whenever it's ready. Anyways, that's what I wanted to say. Now we have to buy a gym booster box. So let's do that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, I've always said. You should do all the expertise uh, quests. 
That's what I said from right at the beginning. <sighs> Any tips for Dino Tamer? Uh, in what in what uh, what do you mean by tips? Um, over a spe not specific tips for the Dino Tamer is that you wanna of course get its class gem. Class gem is very important. And what the class gem does for the Dino Tamer is that it prolongs or makes the, the ultimate longer. Uh, and with the Chronomancer Cutesley uh, as your ally, or uh, the other one that's called uh, something. <laughs> uh, do, 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 is it this? Down? Oh, that's down here. Uh, where is it at? Do, 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 that's, that's one. The Puck one. The Puck one, the new one. Uh, the difference from Puck and the Chronomancer Cubesley is that Puck gives you 300 light. So this is a better. This is better than the Chronomancer Cubesley. Uh, but what you want is the increased cooldown recovery of your, uh, you know, spells, uh, which means that with the Class Gym and, um, you know, your um, and this ally, uh, your ultimate is probably going to be up or is going to be up all the time. Uh, we're also using the emblem for the, uh, let me show you all of them. I don't have it. <laughs> uh, where's it at? The, uh, the, the chronomantic emblem, which every time you use a, a potion, uh, it's going to reduce your cooldown, all your abilities. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works. All right. So we had to buy a, and of course you want to, if you want to take the dino timer into the end game, you just have to get as much uh, light as you can get. Light is uh, absolutely the most important thing that is in the game, or the end game, that's what I mean. Uh, okay, we went to buy a gym booster box. So yes, we shall buy a gym booster box for sure. And what do you wanna do with that? <laughs> Upgrade your gems, oh, I can do that. But I wanna open my uh, gym booster box. Oh, so we gotta make some cosmic dust. That's fine. Uh, So, so for upgrading my this here, I want to upgrade this one because it has three stats and it has, starts with two stars. Uh, down here, you can have some horseshoes and some uh, luck bucks and some nine lives. If you played this game way back, you needed these things to uh, upgrade your so your gym didn't break, but it, they changed that so gyms can never break anymore. This just does that so it there's a bigger chance of it upgrading. Uh, multiple times instead. So it's basically just going to cost you less to, to do so. Uh, of course, the same thing with the luck buck and the nine lives. So don't worry about these, just, just level it up. And I think we just have to hit it once and we get 500 dust. So there we go, level two, very awesome. And of course, it's also going to give us more power and the higher level it becomes. Uh, so open my gym tab, there we go. <laughs> Next thing is to go to a drowned world. Okay, so we should. Can we do that even? Oh, we can. Whoa, yes, it opened up all that. Uh, see, what is this? See, this is 15 to 17. I could for sure go here, but you are going to, if you don't have like the right stats uh, gear wise, you are going to, to struggle uh, uh, up a bit. So I don't understand why they really want to go <laughs> that fast, but uh, I see, I understand. Uh, I want to click these, there we go. Yeah, that's true. Um, add level, um, I guess I could get it up to level, I should be able to get it up to level five. All right, let's go to the club world. I can show you guys uh, a little bit more uh, in depth, but I don't want to go too crazy in depth with explaining uh, gems. I have plenty of videos that talked about that, but I can do so. Oh, what? It gives you an empowered one, a radium one. Wow, cool. So this is one. This is an empowered gem. And gem. So this is the one that would go into here. And we actually have a slot for it, so we're gonna equip it. Even though this is not, this is not something I would level up, because again, it only has two stars and only has two stats. So it's something you don't want to put in some, uh, you know, uh, effort into. Uh, uh, you can if you really want to, but I I don't really suggest it. But power rank in the beginning is quite important. So, uh, and you will you'll be able to farm that back anytime. 
Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. I did I did these expertise quests on my main account, but uh, oh oh there's the block one. Um, so uh, I did this expertise one on my on my main account, but I did it so way back, and I've never done like a tutorial for it because it says what you have to do. I guess <laughs> I guess I'm doing it now. Um, what was I thinking? I forgot something. Uh, oh yeah, the gym forge. So that over in the gym forge, uh, I'm just going to show you before I do so. Um, <clears throat> let's see where it's at. I think it's uh, down here. Yeah, there it is. So in the uh, builder's crafting bench, we talked about that before. Uh, you have the, of course the forge. You have your enhanced forge. You have the chaos forge, and you have the gym forge. And the gym forge is what we're going to talk about right now. But I'm just going to show you where you basically craft it. In the forge. Uh, is of course this one over here and this is made so you can up you know bake your gear better uh, I wouldn't suggest you make this gear better I would do it with the shadow gear uh, because it's that's where it, like the power rank really comes in and it actually makes it a difference in your power rank and makes it a lot easier but anyways we're talking about the gym forge and I want to show you guys right here as you can see uh, here you can prove the stats of it you can see this is hit actually 90% uh, and with these improved stat thingies here, uh, these called focuses, these can uh, go uh, make these 100%. So it, it'll be perfect, actually. So these are pretty high stats, actually, which is really nice for this gem. So it's a really good, uh, really good gem. So you can make them perfect. But uh, I'm going to level this up to hopefully to level, uh, six, uh, level 6, I was about to say, level 5. So I can show you guys right here, adds a random stat. So since it has three stats, it's not going to add a fourth stat, but it's going to make one of these stats better. Hopefully it's going to make uh, this stat, the physical damage one or the critical damage one is going to be better. So I'm going to hit it and there we go, level five. And you can see that it actually put up a lot of uh, power rank right there. So right here, when you have it open it up in a gym forge now, we can see there's a little pearl on it right here, or a little boost as it actually went on this, uh, this one right now. So that's awesome. So... Uh, this one can also move me moved around this one can change the stats itself so if i don't i don't want max health here i want critical hit i'm just gonna make one of these later on when you get into the end game or mid game i would say and then you can change these to a different thing and this one can then re uh, move these around if i have one of these i could move this one to this one over here if i want to or uh move it back sometimes it, it's random where it goes it, it, of course it can't stay on this one since i'm moving it so it can go here or here but uh it can definitely go here if i if i don't uh if i'm not what well, i wouldn't say careful but if uh yeah oh i can actually like our club world now yay <laughs> cool um so yeah uh i think uh what is the next thing that is uh going to be Unlocking, uh, let's see, 15, 13. 13 is the yellow one. So uh, it does say we have to go there, but i rather actually keep going. Might have, We can go to Candoria, I guess. Uh, we are, you know, yeah. <clears throat> so Candoria is, is just... Uh, very themed around that, but you can see there is different biomes as well. It's just an overwhelming of that that specific biome. Um, so we're gonna continue f uh, farming here, and uh, I get. I guess I would say I wouldn't say that it's that's the early game. But you can see I can I can pretty much smash them uh, one uh, one shot. But I kind of just wanted to get some shadow gear. <laughs> but I guess I could. Uh, I could cheat. <laughs> I could uh, go on my main account and give myself some gear if I wanted to do so, but that doesn't gonna show you guys what it is. Um, so we're just gonna continue farming, you know. This guy's spinning, so I won't show one shot him. Or at least uh, some more higher tiers than the. Well, shadow would just be more because I, I really want to forge some stuff up that would make it a lot better we haven't done any of these three stars but we can definitely get it it has this one smaller dungeon uh, here uh, since i know this one i of course i i know 
all the dungeons, but it has uh, always two small ones and a big one. I kind of talked about that before. And the more magic find you have, the bigger chance there is of getting all of these items. Uh, but you shouldn't worry about that. Uh, you just worry about leveling. That is the main board. Because you saw how my uh, gems got... Uh, it's so much better. And with this gem... Uh, let's see. 30, oh, it's the same thing. Uh, with this... Um, with this gem I actually got, uh, you know... It was actually uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice. Um, so I could also do the other expertise quest there was. This one placing the blocks, but I think it's a little bit of a side one. And here we got a, of course, a recipe. So let's do that. Get two more mastery points. Oh, that's required. Well, which was which? One? Uh, oh, yeah, we did a hundred dungeons. So that's why the that's one I showed in the beginning. So we actually already done hundred dungeons. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. 100 dungeons. We've done 100 dungeons in like 3 hours. That's pretty neat. Why is Meteor Fragment so valuable? Because they are uh, not that uh, common. It's, not, it's something people don't really want to farm. And they are not uh, as accessible as uh, many other things are in the game. So you have to go to the um, you have to go to the Jurassic uh, jungle, and you have to find the uh, uh, basically the um, what is it called uh, the biome uh, that has the canopy above it. Uh, those are a lot easier to find them up there, and you, as you can see, there's sometimes they're behind like uh, you know blocks and stuff like that, so they're hard to see. There's some mods that can show you where they are. Uh, not on them on like this map here, but they will make like kind of like a like a tree thing like this one to show you that if it's behind because if you're running like this you can't see that it's like there and you might just run past it and it's actually like right there. So that's why they are uh, you know uh, quite hard to get. So it's basically just accessibility. Why they can't? <coughs> How do you get mods? So. Um, you, if you play on Steam, there's Steam Workshop. You can get it there. Uh, if you play it on the Glyph, there is something called Trove Tools. Um, you can just search for Trove Tools. Uh, and there's a program. And there you can search for all the programs. I have a video on my YouTube channel that explains both installing mods uh, and which, what mods I use. On this here account, I'm not using a mod because if I used mods, it wouldn't give people the... Um, like it, there is, it wouldn't give people the right, uh, I have like a mini boss radar where I can see where all the bosses are. I don't need that because I know where all the bosses are because I've played it such a long time. Uh, but sometimes it's just nice to <laughs> know where they are, right? Um, but I don't, never use any mods that kind of changes my appearance. I don't, I don't believe in the way that to cheat my viewers or anything like that that show them that I have something that I actually don't have and you might be wondering who would do that well there actually is people that have done that uh, streaming trove that actually you know tried to believe or get people to tr uh, believe that uh, they had uh, like some of the rarest mounts in the game uh, so people would be like oh my god you're so cool and let me watch you because you have this and uh, yes on on his account it or on his screen it looked like he had the uh the mount but if you actually followed him you could see there was just a some a reskin uh basically of uh, that so yeah i don't want to cheat people like that so i only use like utility ones that you know shows me where like cornerstones are like for example there would be an arrow showing where my cornerstone could be placed over there and um yeah, such so forth. Let me get two more mastery points. Thank you. Yeah, or if they had Ganda or something like that. Yeah, a lot of people have Ganda though. But uh, there's also there's some rare mounts out there. I have one of them. 
but uh, it's on my main account. Yeah, I don't have Ganda either. I don't have Ganda either because uh, I've been offered it many, many times, uh, both for free and for various, uh, you know, little price and stuff like that. Uh, first of all, it's because it, I don't want to take it because it's a very, very expensive mount and I don't want to to just take that from people and that's like too big of a gift I think and also because I, I, I used to open all my empowered other than powered oh, sorry all my uh, trova wonder chests uh, on like a you know uh, a bit of a series where I was opening all of them um, most of them for free boxes because uh, just got them for free because of the tomes and whatnot but, um, and I wanted to unbox it myself. That's why I said from the beginning, I wanted to unbox it. And then people keep kept, uh, offering me <laughs> and it just, it's just become a pr principal case now. Like I want to unbox it and it's not like I need an, uh, a Ganda. So it's a cool mount. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with it. I just, it's just now I want to unbox it myself. And uh, so I, I've tried and, well, failed. <laughs> and now we also get these adventure boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, these adventure boxes also contain all sorts of stuff. Uh, for example, Glim, but they can also in, uh, have mounts in them and stuff like that. Another cash chest, oh, 150. We'll take it. 150. Hey, George, what's up? How you doing? Why not bomb my way in? Because uh, I don't like to bomb my way through the dungeons. Um, my experience is that uh, people sometimes just like destroy whatever is in the, uh, you know, uh, dungeons. I'm also going a little bit slower on this one. I, I do have to say that I do have a bunch of you know ways of getting faster into the dungeons uh um but um this one i'm kind of, kind of showing people that you don't have to bomb your way through uh because bombs can be expensive in the beginning and uh, this is not uh this is tutorial or this playthrough or whatever you're going to call it play it with me explain everything whatever you're going to call it uh, it's not about going fast. It's just about explaining everything to people in a way. And now we're just uh, kind of just farming. And yes, you could bomb your way through them. And it's 100% something you should probably do if that's what you want to do. Uh, I just I just prefer to do it like this. And this is always what I've done. And um, I've always hoped that they wouldn't uh, would, would make it so you couldn't bomb your way through dungeons. Just because I also kind of feel like it's kind of sad that you just bomb your way through the whole thing and you don't really experience like any of the dungeons what people have spent like ton of time kind of doing um but doesn't mean that it's a wrong thing to do you play the game however you feel like you're playing it and i play it however i feel like playing it right <laughs> starting fresh huh nah yeah well you can see uh, you can get I, I you can kind of say i start fresh um ish if that makes any sense i'm making explain everything uh, early game edition and i'm playing for five hours uploading everything the whole thing to youtube and then uh people can follow along uh, if when they're playing um and they can you know kind of see what it is to play like for the first five hours and start getting into the game and hopefully that will have people you know know more about the game So yeah, also kind of doing the expertise one is, uh, I did it on the main account, but I didn't, I didn't really pay much attention to it. And it's actually quite OP. <laughs> and I thought it also was the right time to do so. Uh, now that Delve is out and everything is, uh, uh, everything is, is more or less 
I don't think there's going to be big changes to um, I don't think there's going to be big changes to like Trove's early game and mid mid to late game if that makes any sense. Oh, we got a shadow. We got a shadow gear. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Awesome. Cool. So uh, I'm actually going to go back because I want to go do some Dell very soon. Uh, I'll go just go speedy. Uh, I understand. You should definitely go speedy if that's uh, that's really what you want. Because uh... hey, we level up twenty three. Let's go. Oh yeah, we have the yellow. I would really hope that I get a yellow one. Oh, we got a yellow one there. Uh, oh, this is the regular air one. Do you want to use that one, or do I want to use? Hmm. I kind of want to use this one actually, even though it's it's one power ring away from each other. Okay, so uh, that's definitely going on here. So. Yes, you're going on there. Great. Just get that little extra power rank there. And then we loot collect all the other ones. There we go. Cool. Because um, I want to do, oh, I want to level up this or forge up this gear, the shadow. So it's going to cost you some eyes and it's going to cost you some gear that, but you can see I get a more uh, of this here. So I do need more eyes. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know how much eyes are worth at the moment. I... <laughs> what? Oh, high collected. I put it. Yep, never mind. <laughs> 14. Okay. Thanks. Okay, if we don't sort it by that, can I buy a little bit more? 14 for. Yeah, let's buy 14. Okay. So now I can level it up to the next, uh, I was about to say the next level. These are expensive. Why, how would you be 300 for this? This is insane. A thousand for a hundred. Hmm. How much flux do I have? 6,000. Ah, it seems a good price. Let's do a hundred. That's a good price. So now I can upgrade it. As you can see here, it's just shadow. And now I can upgrade it to shadow two. Boom. And I'm just going to up, keep upgrading it. And there we go. Now we have to get the twice the twin souls, which you get from loot collecting. So if I go over here, take off this one here. See, it's going to give me uh, the eyes. It's going to give me flux, but it's also going to give me one of these souls. So if I find some of these, I can uh, I can then start upgrading these as well. So it's all about uh, getting that in here. You can add pearls to it. I have one pearl. <laughs> Uh, so I can ex ex extra extra stat on it. So I want to do that. Put an extra stat on it. Oh, it's attack speed. Pretty nice. Oh, I don't have any tentacles. Do I have? Can I buy any tentacles? Tentacles. Uh, do I want to do that? Just buy one. Oh, they're pretty expensive though. Uh, sure. I'll buy one. I'll buy one and then we can randomize. So it will randomize this to something else and jump and this instead of attack speed. So hopefully I'll still keep attack speed, uh, but something else than jumps because uh, we have enough jumps. Ooh, it turned it into something worse. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. Oh, it's no longer available. Somebody bought it out. Damn it, guys. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to buy one. Uh, let's see, health gen. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna keep this because uh, I'm gonna run out of flux pretty soon. So yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I get laggy laggy and then I delete delete. <laughs> All right, get some food. That's a good idea. All right, so uh, we wanna put away our uh, our bombs here uh, because we wanna go into the delve. Uh, you can join the delve whenever you want to. Uh, I'm gonna join as uh, here because we want we need some uh, we need some uh, we need some of these energy -eared. we need uh, we need uh, oh we don't have any crystals oh right 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 hmm 
these are the uh, these uh, shadow key fragments you get for uh, def uh, defend uh, doing the dungeons. Uh, not out here, but in the rest of the uh, world, except also not this over here or in the shadow towers. You get it in all of this here. Uh, but we need we actually need crystals to do that to make some private ones. But I can show you delve. I get it. So to get some energy, you can also join some people uh, themselves. Uh, but you can also uh, just join the public ones and you just do that by going up to this green one and hitting the E button and then you are in the queue. And now there is already a world generating. So we're getting in pretty fast. That, that was what I was hoping for. So it should be hopefully. And hopefully we could do like one, uh, at least one floor so I can show you guys. Uh, so this is in where you were going to get your Titan souls and your Lunar souls. So we are starting at master, which is master is, uh, let me see, where is it at? I think it's like this here or something like that. It shouldn't be very hard. Oh, we get crystals in here. Oh, that's right. So we can actually, so let's get some crystals and you also get experience and everything like that. So we want to get some. And if you actually had some delve, you can actually do that as well. Oh, we got it. There we go. We OP, dude. So just come at us, bro. And these are public ones are random. Uh, there is a batch for doing uh, these as well. So we have to kill six, uh, three creatures more. Uh, there's also some crafting materials in here. Um, What's it called? Uh, but this is the objective to reach the skull, to reach the boss and then kill uh, six creatures. This means that the room is done. It has this here. And also you can see it up here that when it's done. So. Maybe we can get enough crystals for, uh, for, uh, you know, a hundred. Hmm. Hundred is gonna probably take a while though, <laughs> but it, it just keeps going and going and going and going. So we're just still fighting. But the public ones are very random. You don't know which people you're gonna get in with and so on. So you want to try to make your private ones that we saw before, um, because you can kind of invite whoever you want to and or go by yourself. These are ones you're always uh, meant to, uh, you know, go with other people. You can you can uh, laser all that stuff if you go into your build mode here. It's gonna take a while probably, <laughs> but you can. <laughs> but that's something you upgrade your stuff in in the GU cave. So I'm just gonna show you guys that because uh, that doesn't require you to have anything. But now we have uh, completed the objective, so we don't need to. Um, we don't need to. Uh, uh, do anything else, defeat more monsters if you don't want to. Kill this guy if you want to. Just hit him in the face. But now it's just getting to the boss room and people are getting there. I'm clearing out the room still. <laughs> See, now we got to teleport because we got to the boss. So now we got to fight the boss and defeat him. Wow, okay, he hurts a lot. Okay. Ow, wow. Okay, I got one shot. <laughs> Oh, I got it, boys. I got it. Don't worry. Got it. Uh, remember that I die. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough light. Yikes. <laughs> you think we're going to make it? Oh, he's, he's turning us. So we have three minutes to defeat him. And we were <laughs> we're probably not going to make it. But we'll uh, we'll try our best. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So we get some more DPS. Oh, oh, I'm tanking it. I'm tanking it. Oh, I'm running a flash charges pretty fast. <laughs> Next. Oh no, respawn. Get him, guys. Yeah, it shouldn't rest me. <laughs> Come on. Ah, 
Ah, okay, so you get more and more time on the timer, I guess. I have to be better at using my uh, my flask. <laughs> and doing like no damage to him. You can still, uh, you can still. Uh, what's it called? You can still, uh, what's it called? You get the rewards and stuff like that when you complete it. I can't, I can't hit him. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna do that. Oh my god, he's just shot me in the face. <laughs> I think some people left. I think we think we are enough people to, to do so. No, you can't do it. <laughs> I can rest up now. There we go. See if we can rest this guy. Oh no, he stopped me. Ah, uh, no, oh, he got, he got up. Oh, he left. Everybody left. <laughs> okay, everybody left. All right. <laughs> so unfortunately, we couldn't do it, uh, and people left. That's what happens when you are in the public one. That's why I'd say private ones is is a lot better. But uh, you know, have, you have to do a few uh, public ones before you can head into to doing that. Uh, we got 27 and we got some energy out. You can see there, well, I got one energy out, but uh, you only need 20, so it's not gonna be quite that hard. So, but when you get uh, up higher, it's, it's gonna be a lot easier when you get a bunch of light and such and so on. So enough of that, let's go throw these keys in here. So that was the delve and um, that's where you're gonna get all your souls. and. Every th third floor, uh, you're going to use these keys to open this shadowy soul vault. And that's where you're going to get your Titan souls and your Luna souls. And I have plenty of video on the channel that, you know, explain, uh, explain that as well. So let's see, uh, we are only level 12, but we are actually pretty, actually pretty high level, uh, power rank wise, because we did upgrade a lot. So let's do it. Let's go to get our 500 dust. I have to find some wind water gem boxes. Well, that is something, dude, I can do. I can find a water gem boxes, that is for sure. Do we actually have a boat? Do not have a boat. Okay, no boat. But if you actually have a boat, uh, you can actually, you know, you can sail. But uh, you have no boat. You could buy one on the marketplace or you could craft one and there's uh, the cast crafter that we talked about, uh, that can be uh, as well. Uh, right now, the top loot is uh, this little ally here. Sometimes it's a boat, sometimes it's a mount and stuff like that. And those are in the cash chest that we uh, found. Uh, they can be in there, but let's find 15 boxes. And if you're farming sh uh, water boxes or any boxes, uh, Wednesdays or the shadow day, or it's shadow day, the gym day, we get extra uh, bonus drop chance on those and you also get these luxurious gem boxes which gives you extra uh there's the ones that uh, can they can drop those focuses and uh, the one that can change your uh, stats around that we talked about in the gem forge or you can you can uh, you can craft those uh, focuses of course uh, but with the boxes you basically get them for free uh, not too many but a little bit a little bit of an extra incentive to uh you know to do farm boxes on uh, on wednesdays so cool uh now we're level 14 15 um 15 we need 14. um the higher level you go the more experience you get of course but uh you can't enter before you go there so if you have a friend or that's really high you can of course get uh him to boost you uh, going into U9 and all that, you're gonna level up pretty quick. But we have no friends. <laughs> now, uh, it's more like if people don't have any, you know. We're doing, we're doing fine. We are doing just fine. 
We could probably also go to three, oh, we are three, four, then you get even uh, better boxes. Say we get uh, you three boxes here. You, the best you can get, uh, the, the, the lowest you can get, is that a word? Is uh, the epic uh, there, and the best ones you get is the rainbow ones, or replenished as they're called. Um, we could try to uh, we could try to go to here to U uh, six, and then run with some people and get some boxes and hopefully do so. But it's just a lot easier to do so. Or yeah, I think I got the glim one. Yeah. Oh, uh, blocks destroyed. Oh, does glim count as a block? Okay, interesting. I actually don't know that. Didn't know that. Yeah, these are some of the gameplay patches that I talked about earlier. Uh, the ones that are in here. You see uh, dungeons and box and stuff like that. Pretty neat the flowers does that. I had no idea. I just ran past them because that, yeah, sometimes it's glim. And a little bit of glim is fine. Also, we could go to some, you can see we can go here. This is where you farm the specifically the uh, the yellow ones. <laughs> no, the, uh, yeah, the yellow ones. Why did I, I don't know why it was like yellow. I don't understand yellow. I think I actually kind of uh, mentioned basically everything there is to now there's only like not only but th the point of the game now is just to level up uh, oh these guys by the way these mini bosses the bigger ones actually also jump uh, uh, drops uh, gem boxes so when you're farming them you should also kill them if you see them um, but now it's just leveling up like the, the ideal will be like getting to level 30 uh, keep equipping gems that are better. Keep doing the expertise one, and and we're good. I'll go into the uh, geode stuff uh, as soon as we're uh, done with this. I will show you the geode one. That's something you do early. It doesn't have require to have any power rank or anything like that, but uh, it's something that you should do over time. And uh, again, expertise. There's also a whole expertise thing with that, and some mastery to gain. Always some mastery to be in, more or less. This is uh, this one here. Go to the moon glow, cr uh, grove, whatever thing. So we'll do that after we have done uh, finding the water boxes here. Now we're just gonna be a little bit farming. Farm and chat, chat, chat and farm, chat and farm. And of course, these uh, opening these boxes also count towards the the gameplay batch that has something to do with opening boxes. So we're getting close to 50 boxes, which is also going to give us 20 mastery. I'm pretty excited that we are actually pretty high on the mastery compared to how long I've been playing. I know I also know what I have to do or what I'm doing, uh, but still. You can get past the early game pretty quick, actually. If you don't know what you're doing, I guess that's going to take a little bit longer, but still. Unfortunately, there's no wings, though. Uh, so you can get a mount so you don't have the slowest mount in the world, right? Uh, as a code, but uh, there's actually no code for like a pair of wings and these wings are pretty bad because they descend really fast so when i fly i, f I fail i fall pretty quick so it kind of be cool if there was a um oh we got a permafrost challenge that's with the vanguardian and the tricks you can do it on other characters by the way i don't know if I, that was obvious but you can do it on i can do it on this character here but it's not gonna give me count as many dungeons as it would if it used that bonus class as it says over there, Vanguardian, Fate Trickster. 
<clears throat> also, the big dungeons give you more uh, gem uh, gem boxes. Uh, the end boss gives you more uh, gem boxes. So, it's a good idea to go for those if you want to. But you can see how much it actually helps. Oh my god. <laughs> Send another error. No, <laughs> offline. Rip. Maybe I shouldn't have put the offline, but I don't know. Would that make... Would people think that it, it's... Eh, that the video is over? <laughs> maybe I should say... Maybe I should have put in the text where it says, Video not over. Don't, don't click away. Don't leave. It's not gone. Come on. Can it really take that long to send a report, an error report? Oh, they, they don't work. Oh, okay. Apparently it doesn't want me to send this one either. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. If we don't send our error reports, guys, they don't know what's going on. So it might be annoying and you might skip it, but uh, only, there's a way for them to know what's going on. I'm saying this because I know there's people that are uh, that don't send them, for example. And I'm not saying they I'm not saying they won't, would listen or they see these reports or whatever they're doing, but it doesn't take that long. And if you don't have that kind of time, yeah, I, I understand. But yeah, I don't know. I hope that they see them. But yeah, what I was saying about, you can see the jumps, it's a lot easier just to get around. And of course, you, you get more used to the movement and, 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 and whatnot. And uh, let's see, where is the... Oh, that's oh, that way, okay. <laughs> oh, and also, if I didn't show you guys, of course, uh, Mastery. Uh, there's some we are doing the one to 150 then there's all the way up to a thousand uh the highest as i'm recording this right now because they do increase it a little bit over time now and again is uh like six in in the n 600 right now there's a pokemon game as i like to call it <laughs> the pokemon game where you have to get some it's called mementos in delve and it's random when they drop and uh, yeah open the gym tab we got it Boom. Hey, let's go. Oh, it actually gives you mat. Did I level up because of that? Oh, nice. Find air gym boxes. Yes. Uh, cool. Thank you. Uh, not right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a, see, that's the, that's the, that's the uh, rainbow tier. It's right under any uh, shadow. Uh, oh, we got a cash chest. They just drop randomly from the, uh, uh, from the, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, from the dungeons and stuff. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, I just want to see that one. I got there. The chaos core is something for the chaos crafter, which we are going to go and check out right now. I, I did show a little bit, um, before, but I want to show you guys, uh, again, the chaos crafter. So over here, you have the chaos crafter. Uh, I can also show you over here. Uh, it's right under the, um, uh, not that one, the no, nope, no, nope, there it was, the novice, there is the chaos crafter over here, and you craft that one, and there you can craft the starter classes as we're talking about, the basic ones, the advanced ones, and then there's also done ton of collectibles, and these requires you, these have these chaos cores, uh, the classes does the same, and you'll just get these randomly, uh, but it calls you all these you don't have to get all these things. There's just a bunch of collectibles and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of stuff in, in here uh, just to to show you. Okay, so, oh, and we got another gem. Nice, so we can switch this out. This is actually pretty insane. You get a lot. Wow, you get so much power rank. And this was two stars. And this was, this started, you can see this is, of course, a little bit higher now. But this one started at 503 uh, power rank. Uh, so the other one started at 577, so this is a little bit worse, but I can make this perfect as well with time, and then that's well, of course, the same with that one. Uh, so we're just gonna loot collect all that, get some more mastery. 24 now. 
All right, so, um, yeah, and you, of course, this is where you craft them all. This is also where you get your class keys and stuff like that, and your, uh, so, uh, class key fragments, you get these from empowered gym boxes. You can also get whole keys, but uh, mostly you get these here. And in these empowered gym boxes, you get, uh, you can get these here, but also, of course, with uh, empowered gems like that. Um, these are where you do the uh, nine life, the luck bucks and stuff like that. We talked about when you upgrade your thing there, these are where you craft the focuses and also these uh, sparks flares where you do that. And some of them, you need this uh, bound of brilliance to, to uh, upgrade it and stuff like that. So you can see to make these, you meet the bound brilliance and you get that from a bunch of places over here. We got a few crafting benches. Uh, I actually have all of these tutorial for those as well. Uh, there was something I wanted to, now I forgot what was, I was supposed to talk about. Oh yeah, there was the Jude. There's Jude. So let's talk about Jude. <clears throat> let's get, uh, let's get that expertise shown. So let me move that over here. Um, oh, it's shown. Okay. It shows great. Okay. That's it by itself. So, uh, this is the expertise quest. This is the expertise quest to go through Jude. And this is the geode hub. There's the uh, trove hub. That's this one. And the geode hub is over here. So these are the two hubs that there is. And here you can do a bunch of stuff. There's some with the companions that are over there. There's a crystallology that's over there. I also have a guide for that. <laughs> um, and below, you can go down here if you want to use this here. If you don't want to jump, if you don't have enough jumps, you can go up this way. Let's go up. But usually you can just, you just jump off the side. It doesn't matter. You can fall down all the way here doesn't really matter. There's a portal down here that's going to take you all the way up again boop, to where we were. If you fall all the way down, uh, if you want to go to the geo top side, you have to go in here, but we have to be level 20, uh, and they'll, and have 5,000 powering to go in here. Um, but that's something for like the mid game. Don't know if we're going to get to that now, but let's just, uh, do, uh, do geo basically. There's a lot to do with you, but, uh, this is basically it. Over here, you got some daily quests to gather some uh, organics, basically plants around in the geo caves. There's something to do with the critters. There's like small and uh, friendly uh, friendlies, you can call it like that, um, that you can find. Call like you can call them pets if you want to do that. Um, but these here uh, pets can. Uh, it's the, basically the companions. And then there's also something for, of course, the crates. There's also sometimes a for ores, I'm pretty sure. But these are the portals, basically. This is the one of the, this is the sunken, uh, sunken sun well, vault. And you got the uh, veins here. And here you got the grotto. That's the one we have to go to. In between, we have the forge, which is you have to upgrade, uh, where you have to upgrade your modules. So this first one here is your uh, laser in Geode. So we have our normal normal laser, you know, the laser we use in, in Tro or in basically everywhere else. Uh, and then you have the ones you use in Geode and then one you have to upgrade to get better. There's your gas, that, that's the one that's the one you use for this. And the same thing with the end charge. And these are all like, you need this for this and yeah, basically. Oh, um, these are the life, sorry, the gas is your life. Um, and this is what you power your tools, that's what I mean. Claw is something that you move around with, but I'll show you guys when we get into that. And here you can craft uh, extra, you can uh, the Thumber, uh, Rocket Boots, the Barrier, and also the Path Painter, and also the Vacuum, or the Bat Magic, or whatever you can call it. Here you can also sign up for uh, Delve if you want to do so, if you are want to do that as well. So we're just gonna keep going uh, into the Moon Grottoes. These here are friendly. You don't, this is not non-combat uh, places, basically. So yes. It also tells you to uh, intense and you can't use wings or mounts and stuff like that. So here, when you load in, uh, you can swap uh, your different things around and everything like that. But we're going to go pretty quick because we don't have a lot. So our gas here is going to go down pretty quick. So we want to find uh, a place to go. So we're going to just run. Uh, it wants it to use a grappling hood. So we did that. Uh, so get some crystals out of that. Um, Oh, we, the ominous, ominous tool, that's a laser. You can use it on these. These explode, by the way. Uh, and if you take damage, uh, it's going to take some of your gas off. 
So now we have to help some critters and we got uh, these uh, curing kit, we got the blanket and we got the food. So we're gonna find some of these here. Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, oh no, I take damage. Oh. <laughs> Um, I have to remember that when you get rocket boots uh, upgraded enough that you don't take damage. But we have to find these here uh, critters. That was the pets I was talking about. And you can see my in, my uh, gas is going down pretty quick. And I'm also going pretty slow because that's what you're going to do in the beginning. Uh, because you don't have rocket boots or anything like that. Uh, I sh we should be finding some pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, they're not <laughs> that obvious right now. And the grappling hook is good to go around with. And you can see that uses the blue power, the in charge. There we go. There's one of them. So here I want to use, because it has the food, I want to use the food and it's just going to take a little, and there you get a box and you also get that. But you could also do a, um, oh, there's another guy that needs food. Um, you can also do the quests. Uh, like I could help critters if I wanted to do so. And it's like I see, this is like non-combat. I can't use any abilities. I can't switch modes around uh, like I can do in uh, in the Dell. So here you can, it's basically just gathering resources and it's kind of like a little mini game. Uh, so let me see. Should be able to find someone soon. And when you get close to that one, it explodes. And this one needs our curing thing. So we're going to use the green because that's going to heal him. And that's it. And that's the step. Boom, go. There we go. <laughs> also, we get crystals, actually. So that's we are pretty close to uh, to 100. Uh, gather in the moon grotto. So uh, I think it wants us to just grab, uh, you know, uh, It just wants us to grab um, like uh, materials. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that this. I think you can mine it. Yeah. See, I think it also works. <clears throat> Sorry, oh my voice. I think it also works with the. Uh, oh, it doesn't work with the crystals. Okay, but over here is a. Uh, that's gonna take a while to get that done. Maybe it also works with these guys. Ah, oh, it didn't really work. Okay. So we just got to do that. It's a really good idea to go these side areas if you're looking for a lot of materials, because that's usually where they all they are. So I'm just going to try to get all the organic stuff. Because the ores is going to take a while because I haven't upgraded my Omni tool that much. I can't get that one. <laughs> and uh, it goes down pretty quite slow, uh, but it's because we are in the tier one. And uh, when you get to tier two, it's going to go down pretty quick when you haven't upgraded yours uh, at all. Let's see. Oh, it's so hard when you don't have the rocket boots. This one uh, heals you up your in charge. Oh, we got that one. 40 is a lot though, but it's probably because we needed to upgrade. Oh, I saw it. didn't say there was one there. And your jumps doesn't work, so you can't like uh, jump. That's for your rocket boots. <laughs> but since we haven't crafted yet, it's probably part of this. See, uh, these can also work, uh, you know, for you. So hopefully that will explode some of these ores. Yes, see all those ores? Nice. Uh, with the tool, uh, you can actually, uh, this one you just laser, and you be, uh, apparently they love lasers uh, shot in their faces. I don't know why, but they do, and they get very really happy and they give you crystals. <laughs> Uh, you can be lucky and it's quite close, but later on you can use your Omni tool, this one, to move, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, move things around. Oh, look at all these crystals. But since it's not upgraded yet, I can't move them around. 
Fortunately, none of these actually. That's kind of annoying that these doesn't. Uh, <laughs> but we got plenty of uh, crystals now. Now we just need an inner geode to do the delves or the private ones. The private ones you can invite your friends to, or your friends can invite you to it. Uh, the challenge ones uh, you cannot in be invited to. You have to sign up with the, with the people at the same time. Oh, he's going to get exploded. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, you followed me. <laughs> okay, so this one is pretty much done. So let's see if we can't get out of here. I thought I had it there. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh, I think I actually uh, want to just hit this button and actually just reset, uh, because yeah. Yeah, Replash. I'm still on this. Uh, well, not this grind. I'm doing a everything explained kind of tutorial. And uh, yeah, but good to see you, man. How you been doing? So we just reset, and you can go again. Uh, so let's do that. See if we can't find some day drops. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of them here. And I could, I should probably have picked up a uh, quest, but yeah, it's fine. All right, what we got to do now? We got to run out of gas. Travel through. The... Okay, <laughs> I can run out of gas pretty quick. <laughs> How I've been? I've been doing really good. Like. Um, been uh, just yeah I've been actually really good <laughs> I don't really know what more to say I've just been doing good um, so you can see when I take damage boom and since I really don't have anything I, th I think this is the fastest way to do it I figured out that it actually connects to your life which is kind of weird oh come on give me rocket boots you can then f go faster and I can go pretty fast with the path pa path painter. Come on, there must be. There we go. Come on, blast me, man! Blast me, oh blast the. What? Stop! Why doesn't it blast me? What? Oh come on! I'm standing right next to it. What the hell? It's because I'm standing too close. Oh no! Please don't blast me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh no! Please don't blast me. That would be so sad. Oh no! God damn it! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Don't blast me. That would be so sad. I wish I not to die. Oh god! I okay. Good. Still, still. I don't. Was it not in range of that one? Oh no! No, please don't blast me. I think I'm not in range or something. <laughs> oh my god! That's insane. Okay, this one. This. Oh no! There was one here. Oh. Destroyed it. Okay. Blast me. Oh, blasty. Blast me. Blast me. Oh, okay. They blast me. Okay. I thought I was going to be out. There we go. So it's just going to send you out. Yeah. So what have you been up to, man? Hey, we ran out. Of oh, maybe I could actually just have uh, gone back to that. Yes. Okay. So here we got to craft some uh, critter treats and stuff like that. I'm not going to go more into, but you, you, you kind of get the, you kind of get the idea. Uh, or should I? Because we, do something. Maybe we should do into the models thingy. Now nah, you get the point. Uh, you get the point here, right? Uh, you craft them here with different things, and then you upgrade them. And the tutorial is going to take you through that as well. So, yeah. Great, 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 great to see you, man. Nothing really, mainly just school and a bit of oh, Valorant. Okay. So how do you like Valorant? I've heard uh, very mixed things, <laughs> or not, no things at all. What do, what do you say? Like, yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna save those boxes for now, so I can get them into that. But we're gonna continue going into here. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna try to go to. Yeah, we're gonna do new six for sure. Um, yeah, I heard very mixed things about it. So you can also pick up a quest here to collect air boxes if you want to do that. That is going to give you, that is going to give you, uh, that's not it. Uh, oh, these are the luxurious boxes, by the way. I could basically show the barbershop thing, I don't know. Uh, air boxes. See, so find air boxes. Uh, that's not it. Where is it at? There you go. 
So it gives you this adventure ring, which is for clubs. So you can make uh, donate to clubs and stuff like that, and make club edit and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna go and uh, oh, uh, we're gonna, actually gonna move it over to the air boxes instead. To show that one, so we can continue. Okay, so you huge fan of CS:GO. I have two thousand now, and I really enjoy Valorant. Okay. My friend that also plays a lot of Counter Strike, he's like played it. Like I would, I would not say more than two thousand hours, but a lot. He uh, he don't he don't care too much for it. He says, he doesn't say it's bad, but it, he's like more. Hey, if I want to play a shooter, I'm just gonna do CS:GO. You know. But I guess a lot of people have it like that, you know. But I don't know. It for some reason it just feels like. Okay, maybe I should have gone U six. <laughs> Next. Uh, I might be too weak. See, that's what happens if you're too weak. I could probably have found some uh, person that was. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I lost the magic. <laughs> See, I went too far, but I just wanted to show you guys. See, this one has the relic. Uh, Shadow can be, and then also Radiant. This one can, the rare drop in this one is Radiant. So it goes up and up and up. Room crafting bench, why is there a room crafting bench here? I don't know, makes more, doesn't make a lot of sense. So don't go too fast, guys. This guy is not gonna be, have a good time here, I think. Maybe he's a bit higher, but it's gonna be hard for him. So a red one. Oh, we got a stellar one, of course. Uh, but I want to save this one, though. All right. So let's just take it down to uh, U five. Yeah, I I think uh, I think that's the same thing about. Um, isn't there a? Uh, I guess there's not. I guess it's the same with, um, or what's it called? Um, like a lot of people like, what's it called? Uh, see, this, um, like Fortnite and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with Fortnite. It's just like, it's just a diff different way, it's a different approach to a shooter, right? That's, which I think is a good idea. Like it's good that there's, you know, maybe CSGO is like, like awesome, right? But you don't know if it's the awesomest for you. <laughs> if that makes any sense. See if how we're doing here. So I don't know if I can do this or not. We're gonna see. See, I'm not doing a lot of damage now. See, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, but I'm actually not too happy with how much damage I'm doing. Um. I'm not too happy with the damage I'm doing. Uh, even though I have pretty good stats, I would say, uh, it still can be hard. So uh, I would definitely, instead of uh, instead of keep going here, uh, I might just keep leveling and uh, just do do that, and then uh, you know, uh, go just do these like do this level here and just get the random boxes and and just keep leveling and then equipping those for later like whatever i have unlocked the most e the easiest part of trove is that when you are level 30 it's such a it's not a struggle i wouldn't call it a struggle it's, I, would, I was about to say it's such a struggle i can't do it no it there is pretty a little bit of struggling when when you don't have access to all the gym slots and stuff like that because you can't get your potential of all of it but as you can see, you know, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It could be a lot worse. Maybe I'm also just kind of being, because it was quite easy, the other ones. But uh, yeah, see, these one can also have the relic replenished and even have the shadow ones. So shadow was the second highest on the other one, but now it's, uh, now it's shadow is the highest. All right, Red Rash. Uh, take care, man. 
Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Uh, what did we get there? Oh, we got the uh, the, the the quest the quest for adventurine thing done. So that adventurine I can use for other things. Uh, as I said, uh, buy some stuff. There's some some stash uh, or sorry, there's some things you can buy from the traveling merchant. The one there is in our club here. The uh, click it. Uh, this one you can buy that for some adventurine and stuff like that. There's uh, some stuff there to give to mastery. And uh, even a couple of dragons. Uh, a lot of clubs have that uh, traveling merchant. And he's also, I'm pretty sure he's, he's, in, the, he's in the hub as well, but I can't remember actually. Pretty sure he is, but uh, I might be wrong on that. Uh, this should be better than the one half. Yes, finally something different. <laughs> <laughs> oh this dungeon i haven't done this dungeon a lot <laughs> so yeah I, I think yes you go down this way and then you go into the middle and you go up these stairs this is a beautiful dungeon though it is a beautiful dungeon but yeah, it takes it does take a longer time to go through it uh, if you uh, you know you could just bomb your way from like the top or something like that. But uh, it's a beautiful dungeon, though. So. Oh, there was another rainbow, but that was for that, unfortunately. And this is of course uh, don't don't fall down there <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. Uh, so they can be hard if you don't have enough jumps. So that's why jumps kind of... Uh... Oh, I have to see this one before. This is actually a new dungeon. I think this came with the delve update, actually. Or maybe I'm just... I've been too lazy to see it. Eh, no, I don't know. I'm skeptical now. Oh, there was a shadow. Oh, it's a face. Not. Oh, it's a shadow too. Look at that. Look at that. It's a shadow too. I do lose some, uh, you know, attack speed, but I gain more uh, of the other things. So damn, I don't want. I don't want. I really want to do that one. <laughs> I could also loot collect it uh, and then upgrade my uh, sword instead if that was what I wanted to do. Um, when you forge, you can also add more uh, stats to your gear. Um, so. Uh, all gear comes with three stats on it except for crystal gear comes with four stats on it and then you can add a fifth stat to the crystal gear you can add a fourth stat to the uh, to the um, to the uh, the shadow gear to the replen uh, replenished well sure also the replenish but the uh, radiant and of course also the stellar gear um, and you do that with pearls of wisdom um, they drop from gear, they drop from dungeons, they drop from boxes, they drop from many places. They are very common and they are very cheap on the marketplace. You saw I had one of them and it might have just dropped randomly from some kind of dungeon. I don't know where it came from. Uh, is this from scratch? Yes, this is from scratch. I'm doing a uh, everything explained um, tutorial style play with me kind of deal. Well, not play with me specifically, but play with me. Uh, I'm going to upload all this to YouTube and then it's, uh, you know, people that start from the very beginning can uh, kind of play along for the first five hours. I'm kind of through the most of the early game. I've explained it. I haven't been, I'm not really through the early game on this character, but I've kind of explained what you do further. Basically just all leveling, farming, completing the, the uh, expertise quest there is. Guides are really, uh, sorry, not guides, sorry, events. That event going on right now. That's a really uh, fun little extra thing to do. <laughs> Is that funny, George? Is that funny? I like making you laugh, George. I don't know why. You, you, you seem like a person that 
like meeting you in real life, George, I think we would, uh, I think we would have some, uh, have some fun. Not only uh, lost and chill, you know. That's an insect. <clears throat> Is this, uh, oh, this a face. Oh, there's some, hey, some more flux. There can be a lot of flux. There could be like 5,000 flux in those uh, sometimes. But it's all random. It's all random. Yes. Uh, let's do some more. I'm just mostly doing the uh, small air gems here. Two more gem boxes and we are done. I know I know it doesn't say it very uh, a lot, uh, but if you follow along over here, you can see what I loot and stuff like that. But it doesn't say it because uh, there's a lot of stuff that drops, so uh, it it can be quite yikes <laughs> if that makes any sense. But now you can see there's a there's a person here that's running in, alongside with me. I don't know how much power rank that person has, but uh, you know when you go higher, it is very possible to use the rallying blade and and join somebody. Just be don't be in their way. You know don't uh, try it because Troll's AI is a little bit weird because sometimes it goes for you and sometimes it goes for somebody else. I, my theory is that it goes for somebody like it knows the power rank, so it goes for the weakest one, but I don't know uh, if it works like that, but uh, that's my theory at least. All right. Oh, uh, the Shadow Tower pole entrance. Well, that's that's here. <laughs> We've been here before, but it says, I guess it's going to take us to that. Hey, we got here. So talk. Talk to the shadowy market. Oh, we're gonna we're actually gonna go into the lunar souls. Hey, we're gonna talk talk to it. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So uh, this one we ex I explained before. I didn't know it's gonna take us here. I've done this such a long time ago. All right, we're gonna go into the gem tab again. Give us five hundred extra dust. Thank you very much. Uh, complete club adventures. Okay, so actually gonna take us through that. That's actually pretty neat. And there we go. Oh, is it the same one? No, it's not the same one. Please, it's not the same. Oh, it's not the same one. I see, this is radiant, but it's still physical. That's good. I'm very. Uh, I don't know if it actually has to be physical, but uh, yeah, this one I could actually be able. Uh, I, I might actually wanted to upgrade these two to get a like a third stat on them, but I wouldn't get them uh, past that. Uh, yeah, sure. You can do it with your space button. Oh, I got critical hit. Didn't I? Didn't I get critical? I think I got. <clears throat> Maximum health, fine. It's not the worst, but yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't uh, do more than that. All right, let's get some more styles. Uh, I'm gonna save these here to where's the because I'm not gonna want to open it now. Well, I do have this one. Hmm. Well, I do have this relic one. Oh, this is magic damage. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna open these actually. Hey, and we got the boxes open and thing. All right, let's see what we got. We can also see it over here. You can see it down in the bottom here. We got, we got, we did get one physical. Okay, good. We also looked them over them. This is the physical damage one. So I want to get this one and. This one, uh, let's see what this one has. See, this one is better on the mat, uh, on the power rank, but for stats wise, I kind of want to keep this. So I, I would, I would sacrifice for power rank for getting like physical damage for a physical damage character. So I'm gonna delete all the others because these are only two stars. I would never use, uh, sorry, one stars. I would never use uh, one stars. Always two stars. Okay, we got. Oh, there was a magic. Ugh. Okay. We got this one though. This is uh, this is physical damage. 60, 66. Sure. <clears throat> it's better than 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 nothing. Uh, but you probably want to use this one. Uh, that that's actually a 15 power rank. Uh, 
that's kind of significant but uh, I'll, I'll save I'll save this all right so now we have to do club adventures so let's just talk about a little bit of club adventures <clears throat> so we're gonna go to the club funny enough you got to do club adventures um, over here we have ours over here these NPCs over here is the club NPCs and they uh, do have different quests here is the um, is the traveling merchant guy I was talking about before and he has a bunch of stuff and these are fragments to it it's not a full dragon it's frag you need five of these to get up to there and here you can uh, oh I actually we haven't we hadn't claimed that today <laughs> uh but this is the free you get every day so it just gets put into that but uh here you can uh defeat dungeon bosses in kandoria defeat dungeon bosses in permafrost uh cursed valley and also in the desert frontier and this is uh go fishing <laughs> so these are club adventures as it says right here and you have to do five of these so i'm gonna do kandoria we have to do 15 bosses in kandoria and you have to do that Oof, that's a lot dude that is a lot of, um, that's a lot of, uh, I was about to say tutorial, <laughs> that's a lot of adventures. Um, but I think we are going to do something different because um, Nina, it's, uh, I also have this video on my channel. Uh, if you go to that and find Nina's uh, quest, I was about to say quest log. <laughs> Nina's club ch uh, <clears throat> club club quests, uh, and she um, basically um, has all the quests that for people can post if they have some quests they want to, yeah, you know, get rid of. Um, let's see if I can find something that I want to do. Uh, do, 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 do. We can do we could do fire or like you can do. Which ones do we want to do? Oh, we can do fire. No, should we do that? What? Let me see. No, that's seven. We don't want to do that. Uh, I think we just want to continue. And uh, we want to do get better. So we do five. We do water. Yes. Okay. So water quests. There's a bunch of people that have done so. Uh, we're just going to do one of them. We're going to do, let's see. Uh, so somebody posted this. Join World Tomorrowland Trove. So I'm gonna go to that one because you can just uh, join World, and now we are in this club world, and they have you know all of these other quest NPCs. You can see they have some different ones. Some with fire. This is cosmic. They got something with Dell bosses. Got uh, sorry. This is defeat radiant giants, and then they got water. So we want to pick this one up, and you can see now I have to get 25 water boxes. I just do 25 water boxes. And we're done. And of course, this you drop a lot more when you get into U9. It gets a lot more boxes. And you also get a lot more boxes when it's Wednesday. So this is, would be a quest you would do there. And uh, you get experience and you get uh, 300 adventurines. So it's a really good way to both level up your club and also uh, do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to farm some U5. So basically, just all doing this <laughs> is all you want to do. So this is not a uh, this is not a club quest. Uh, it says specifically that you have to do club adventures. This is a Trovian outpost adventure. It says right here. It says right there, right there. So I could do that one as well. I, I don't know if I could do it at the same time. I can actually. Okay, cool. So I just have to get five of these. It's gonna give me five, five and this is gonna give me three hundred. So yes, I hope that makes a lot of sense. So we have to do this five times actually. <laughs> So there's a lot of boxes. So I don't know if there is any more really to do in the early game other than completing the thing here. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe not to do this. Uh, I was I was planning on doing it for five hours, right? That was that was the plan. That's what I said in the beginning. So people might be wondering why it's only four hours. Well, you can see that in the end. <laughs> But I, there's not really anything in the early game now more than just keep leveling up, getting to level 30. Which actually level 17 is actually pretty crazy, I would say. In f like four hours. Yeah. 
uh, oh, we got a, oh, shadow, uh, but we had that already. Yeah, but, and also you can do the, we, I kind of explained maze all of everything, I would say. So I don't really know if there's anything, maybe I can ask chat if somebody, if it's somebody in chat that has been here for a while or somebody that's been listening in feel like there's something we explained and I can kind of say, tell you if we explained it or not. Or there's something I missed before we end this here. I just felt like five hours was uh, what it's going to take, but it actually takes a lot shorter, which I'm really happy about that the early game is. Because then we get into the mid game now. The mid game is basically just, you know, keep unlocking classes, level them up, you know, equipping them with gear and that. That's it. <laughs> Not, I think we're just gonna, you know, I think we can not cut it right here. <laughs> That'll be a little bit uh, crazy. George wanted want me to explain Lost and Chill. It's it's nothing to do with the early game. It's nothing to do with tutorial stuff. <laughs> it's, it's nothing to do with that, George. That is a. Uh, If you really want the story, all right. I'll, I'll tell the story while we are we're gonna. It's gonna be the end story, all right. Okay. So, the story is that I have a friend, Tim Stewart. <laughs> I have a I have a friend, and we hung out a lot together. And then, um, he said, uh, like we were supposed to go out uh, one one night, and then like nobody was. Like, I don't know, everybody was home for some reason. I don't know. And then we were like, okay, uh, what are we supposed to do? Well, he said, you know, this TV show, Lost. And I said, no, I haven't heard about it. What is it? Well, it's a pretty awesome show. Cool, okay. And it was like 10 at night uh, or like later, I'm not sure. But then we went home to him. And the joke is then that uh, I was, we were in his bed, not fully closed and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thought that there's something wrong being gay, if that was the point. Uh, but uh, we were in his bed, and he basically fell asleep, and I just watched all of Lost, basically. And then I, it was like 10 in the morning, and he woke up because he fell asleep, because he already saw it. And that's it. And that was, that was the... Um, do the whole quest line? Oh my god. Bruno, I... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole quest line here. And that was just the joke that came out with Lost and Chill because we were in the same bed and nothing you know, that, that, that sort of happened, but that was the joke. So that was the insight. So now you know, and uh, yeah, that has nothing to do with the, the, the tutorial or the play with me, the early game, whatever this is. Come on. What's going on with this? Oh, collection challenge. Hey, oh. I should really do these collection challenges on my, my main account instead of the one the effort there. But yeah, how do you, how do you, ex how can I stop a video after four hours, basically? <laughs> well, I guess that's play along. Yeah, I like to play with me early game. <laughs> I like to play along, actually. I like to play along uh, actually better than play with me, actually. I'm gonna snatch that, uh, Chrono. I'll I'll give you credit though. <laughs> All right, let's throw these boxes in here and never speak of anything again. All right, so that was it, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, play along or uh, everything explained early edition game edition. Uh, like I said, from here you would just be um, you would just be. Uh, leveling up, equipping all the things we talked about during these uh, four hours, and uh, keep going. That's that's a main. Trove is a grind. It's not a sprint. It's not. It's a more of a marathon, but it's a really a grind, and that's what I really like about it. Though, uh, if again, like I said in the 
beginning, I said that I'm going to link in the description. I'm going to link all uh, the whole playlist to my uh, all my tutorials that I have about everything, and you should do them as well. Uh, but this mostly this just things you can do over time. It's not something you have to. You can do in whatever order you want to do them, like professions and and stuff like that. But that's all linked in the description, and you can go check them out whenever you get to them or. I uh, feel like, oh, you stumble upon this, maybe who has a, a guide for that? And I will bet you I do have that. So uh, I appreciate you guys you uh, playing along with me, uh, getting everything explained. It was kind of nice. I actually, there was a few things that uh, got refreshed for me, like the expertise one was a lot, it's a lot better for early than it was late. And I just did it for the, the late game, basically. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Anyways, I want to thank you everybody for, uh, every, you all for watching. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.